Gamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. him that the last time he sent the money it was not enough to buy all the provisions oh sorry i forgot to tell him are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions yes, yes. But don't you know about baluo baluo what is baluo baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop and you don't have to worry about exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms or our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 32592200. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel Yaibarom. Okay, I'm Okay, I'm going to get it. 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 I'm going
forest de biro gambia tonko na lo mbari a bere ka berin ko na fo carton bari si ko do kino carton ni fo bolon la be 56 branches mo la soda gambia ja ha ka gambia ko no ani gambia bantala bangol nko ko do ki a bere ko do si fa si fa fo fali ndiro fo nyaadi lafta mem men na ko di to koto ni ko di maro jannam number 1 di nyonta andum fana nata anoda enterprise sotale wala wala min di ko domorol fana ko fana be firale de dadi ma ni domorol di fana be teat gambia dawda yalo ma kum fa kendol sotale di ha e wo moy wala ha apelen da ma ka ni na lafta nyela kendol e bina yalo bu kani la ko la baraka ba yalo del chosa no lo baraka Welcome to the brunch on Kerfatu Live. That is uh, this week we are on a pro special program. That is the year on the review. We will deal with uh, what we believe to be to have been the major talking points in the past 12 months, both here on Kerfatu and of course across the nation. I am here with Nyang Jai, economist and commentator on Gambian affairs. Madi Jabate is a human rights activist and also a commentator on Gambian affairs. We will be joined later, very soon, that is, we hope, who is on his way, Shehun Balo, advisor to President Barrow, working at State House. He will join us very soon. He's at the corner. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Now, it's been one year since we came here to discuss what really has gripped the whole block, that is, the COVID-19 pandemic. And we shall, we'll begin uh, this uh, review with that. I mean, we still have a little bit of problems with COVID-19, but let's go back to how it started back in November in China. And in March, particularly for the Gambia, the whole country had to go through uh, very unprecedented restrictions. Schools were closed, especially. I mean, I registered uh, in primary school, Kayaf in 1972, and since then I've never seen a time, never known a time when schools entirely closed for six months. That was through the COVID. The Gambia government came with a response. We are going to scrutinize that, scrutinize that response in the next one hour, one and a half hour. So, gentlemen, um, let's start with the topic COVID. Uh, like I said, it's still with us, but let's go back to where it started. I mean, first, we had our first case from somebody traveling from the United Kingdom, a Gambian. We still even don't know the person's name. <laughs> I don't know where, how long will it stay like that. Then panic followed. I mean, the borders were shut, schools were shut. Uh, I, I, mean, inst inst I mean, restrictions were introduced, some were obeyed, some were disobeyed. There was an emergency package, state of emergency, that was re initially rejected. The president had to use his power to uh, I mean, renew it and then removing it after seven days. Uh, a whole lot of uh, push and pull uh, until the 800 million, 700 million dollars uh, package was also introduced. So, going back, Nyang Jai, start with you. Did the Gambia actually responded in the most positive way or most impact impact wise to the COVID um, pandemic? Did we handle it well? Good afternoon, viewers. Merry Christmas and compliments of the season wow, for my fellow Christians. Gambians who happen to be Christians, my brothers and sisters. Very important. May Thank we you. live to see 2020 come to an end and may we have a better 2021 collectively as a nation. Good point. You ask a pertinent question about COVID-19. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, I have to tell you that public policy should not be reactionary but must be very deliberate based on prevailing facts that we have. Mm -hmm. 
the time that COVID-19 hit Gambia, February, March, we had two issues lingering and hovering over the Gambian economy. Mm -hmm. Key amongst those was the bankruptcy of Thomas Cook. Mm -hmm. Tourism. Tourism. Mm -hmm. Secondly, Banjul Breweries. Mm -hmm. So the economy suffered a jolt. So when COVID came, before anything happened, the pandemonium associated with COVID mm -hmm. created some serious problems, i.e. supply chain. Yeah. Supply chain, logistics first and foremost, fuel internationally. Mm -hmm. Because Gambian economy is exposed to international shocks. Mm -hmm. So these international shocks translated into freight forwarding, containers coming to Gambia, mm -hmm. and fuel coming to Gambia, both for NAWEC and transportation in general. Mm -hmm. So the Gambian government decided to play a wait and see rather than taking a proactive stance mm. to protect and insulate the Gambian economy. March, April, May, then COVID took a different dimension because the world has blown COVID out of proportion and for a good reason because it was a menace and still happens to be a menace. <laughs> but the government didn't adequately prepare for COVID Mm -hmm. and the expenditures but, but no government actually prepared for it, it came as a shock indeed mm -hmm. no there is no government in the world that prepared for it but yeah. whenever a government wants to make substantial expenditures mm -hmm. they need to have informed decision matrices to guide the decisions they want to take mm -hmm. but i think our decisions were haphazard and emotional mm -hmm. to the point the people that were earmarked to receive oil, rice, and sugar, mm -hmm. most of them to date mm -hmm. are telling us they never received a thing. We have seen mm -hmm. at the um, beginning of COVID, schools, radio programs mm -hmm. to help kids. Mm -hmm. Did we do any study to see the efficacy mm -hmm. of these programs and the way they will be delivered to societies and communities? And have we done an exit study post to see what it has done vis-a-vis -vis the funds we have spent as a nation. And lastly, all serious countries in the world happen to have a COVID czar. The COVID czar either happens to have a medical background or a security background. You mean a COVID czar means somebody who took care Someone of Someone who overtakes everything. Mm -hmm thereby creating a proper command control and this command control will deal with information dissemination mm -hmm. will deal with the movement of people medicines and anything you're talking about a doctor Fauci. it United doesn't States. have to be a doctor it mm -hmm. can be mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. with a command experience i.e military or someone with a scientific I background think, i think we had that who had to resign or somebody who well he res he resigned less or, than and then two weeks followed. into the job yeah, but there's been, a, there's been a replacement since. Well, we haven't seen or heard, and mm. we're still in a pandemic phase. Mm. But the long and short of where I'm trying to go, mm. hindsight is 2020. Mm. So we are not going to cry over spill milk. But we expect seasoned and experienced mm -hmm. bureaucrats, mm -hmm. technocrats, yeah. who should be advising politicians to do what is frugal, because we are a country of scarce resources, mm -hmm to do something that will stretch the scarce resources of this country. And so far, what we have seen with our COVID funds is an ISO. Madi, how was Gambia's reaction to the COVID-19? Did we handle it well? Well, he's been talking about it. The Gambia government actually said they have uh, responded massively by pumping millions of dollars. Uh, food aid was taken to... Uh, many homes, um, I mean, schools were closed that actually help us uh, to prevent, uh, I mean, or delay, uh, I mean, the first surge, which, which when it came was pretty much controlled. Um, in your opinion, did the Gambia do a good job in handling COVID? Um, not at all. We are 
a nation, the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the time, I think all of us um, always talk about um, law for country, mm -hmm. uh, unity. Yes. And um, of course, we elect people mm -hmm. um, who also appoint people. Mm -hmm. We give them our institutions of governance and development, mm -hmm. uh, give them our resources to manage, to satisfy you know, our needs and protect our rights. Um, so this is a very noble task, mm -hmm. so that if you have something like COVID or any other situation like this, mm -hmm. what is expected is that um, our elected and appointed public officials would um, work together to salvage the country. So the beauty of such discussion is that we are talking about the past. Yes. So I think uh, uh, with honesty, if all of us cast our minds back and look at the picture in front, we can see loopholes. Mm -hmm. And so, and, uh, you know, it didn't even occur to me, somebody would point out Thomas Cook issue and the uh, Jul Brew issue and link it to COVID, you know, which is really pertinent. Mm -hmm. So that for me, uh, speaking from that socio-political point of view, what I could see is that um, our political leadership, yeah. both at the level of the executive and the National Assembly, um, um, COVID came at a time when there was already bad blood. Mm. And, you know, for, I mean, for that reason, why they accepted it, I don't know. But I think the level of maturity, uh, the level of foresight, uh, the level of seriousness yeah. expected of them uh, to manage this national crisis yeah. um, did not come because of already um, the political, uh, you know, vibration that was between them. Mm. You've been yeah. So, so that was the reaction he talked about. I mean, that public policy cannot be taken in a reactive way. Mm. You know, you have to be proactive. It has to be based on evidence. Mm. And all of that is available to use. Mm. But unfortunately, I, I think uh, Baron and his team mm. uh, are looking at things more in terms of political games mm. and as a means to address that vibration in the background. Mm. And so when it came to the National Assembly, which is composed of several parties, mm. um, some in direct opposition to Baron, and some among themselves as well not in um, good relationship, um, the necessary coordination, mm -hmm. communication, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, togetherness that they needed to demonstrate mm -hmm. uh, did not also come. Mm -hmm. So that when Barrow came on March 18 to declare this state of emergency, mm -hmm. um, you realize the errors that we have made. Mm -hmm. And then the first extension in, in, in April, mm -hmm. and so by the time we got to the uh, actual first extension, because he can declare the first seven days, which he did seven or twenty-one days. Yes. Um, but the, the the second extension in May, the National Assembly refused it, mm -hmm. largely because of that political background. Yeah. But, but also because but uh, Barrow and team. Whose fault was that? Because Mr. With what President Barrow wanted to say, eventually is what happened. I mean, he said, we have to go to an emergency because this thing is not uh, is, is 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 new on us and it's a very serious matter. The MPs threw it out. Eventually, they come to, well, actually, the argument was they didn't see much changes um, within, in, in the first period of the emergency. They didn't see the impact it has. That's why they couldn't agree to extend it. Um, but President Barrow and his government, sympathizing the government and the parliament, said it is necessary because we are not yet through this. Yeah. So, so, um, you don't declare a state of emergency mm -hmm. full stop for mm -hmm. its sake. Yeah. Um, you know, we've seen closest Senegal yeah. government the interventions it did to deal with life and livelihood issues. So mm -hmm. this COVID wasn't just about health. Mm -hmm. um, stay home, uh, she, I mean, wash hands and put on a sanitizer, I mean, hand mask, face mask and so on. Mm -hmm. But it was also the fact that you cannot have a program like this. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of places would close down. Yes. So, so, so it is not enough to just declare a state of emergency mm -hmm. and put all of those regulations. Mm -hmm. It is also to deal with, um, you know, um, livelihood issues. Exactly. Right. And so, um, in one sense, the National Assembly was justified to say, "You declared this thing, mm -hmm. 
we gave you this period. Mm -hmm. You are the executive to yeah. manage resources. Mm -hmm. What have you come to do to address mm -hmm. um, the livelihood issues of the people? Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, I still do not think mm -hmm. The National Assembly is justified to refuse to, to, to refuse, extend. To refuse, yes. so, so that coordination communication that well, I said, well. uh, the failure of the National Assembly mm -hmm. and the executive to mm -hmm. sit as mature, responsible elected officials mm -hmm. of this country mm -hmm. to manage the life of the country mm -hmm. uh, did not happen. Mr. Chan, because there was politics at play. Mr. Chan, yeah. you see, the quagmire that we as a nation happen to find ourselves in mm -hmm is the insincerity of our public servants, mm -hmm. both at the legislature and at the executive, executive. for the simple fact. Mm -hmm. You are elected for a term. Mm -hmm. Worry about that term and don't think about future electability. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. they have railroaded Gambians by thinking of future electability. Well, allow, me, allow me, allow me, allow me. they think about the next allow, No, no, no. <laughs> You think about the next election by doing what you ought to do within the term mm -hmm. that will satisfy voters okay. to say, you know what, we will endorse him and give him a clean bill of health for subsequent elections. Okay. Okay. But during this term, mm -hmm. what they should be doing mm -hmm. is to address the needs of the nation using public policy, mm -hmm. but using public policy purely to address needs, but not to position themselves. The selfishness. Mm -hmm of our political class mm -hmm. has been clearly exhibited mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. we're at the height of the pandemic mm -hmm. and mass gatherings were happening. Mm -hmm. When this nation have lost significant amount of resources and time as it relates to kids going to school, and life. as it relates to our economy. Mind you, an economy is like an organism. Mm. It moves. And lives, 100 yes. something it, it is, but mind you, the economy mm. is like a living organism. Mm. It was moving and buoyant and vibrant. Mm. We now put it in a reverse mode and it came to a grinding halt. Mm. And that grinding halt, the president stood at the National Assembly and said, the GDP of this country has to be revised downward because our tax mm -hmm. revenues will go down by a minimum of 12%. Mm -hmm. That is reflective of the economy reacting. reacting. Okay. But mm -hmm. are the politicians mm -hmm. reacting correspondingly to make sure mm -hmm. that the bleeding that our economy has suffered mm -hmm. will take a reversal? No, because everything they've done mm -hmm. is for their interest but not that of the economy. From okay. the procurement mm -hmm of the rice that was meant for the poor. Mm -hmm. Announced, I have never seen a procurement. Forget about emergency. Everything in this world if is an emergency if you make it an emergency. But in as much as it is an emergency, it has to be efficient mm -hmm. and it has to be responsive. If not, it is irresponsible. Okay. We welcome into the studio Mr. Sehun Balo, Presidential Advisor. Mr. Balo, we go straight to the point. The point, the question that each of these two have been asked before you arrive was, we are actually reviewing the year, and the biggest thing that happened you know, in the year had been COVID. That's why we started from. Mm -hmm. The question is, did you think the Gambia responded very well, or did we handle the COVID uh, pandemic uh, very well? Yes, um, first of all, um, thank you very much, Mr. Chan. Yeah, you must have been very tired after touring. <laughs> Almost, almost three weeks on, oh, on, on the tour. Yeah, and I okay. talking to farmers, talking to businessmen, talking to students, Very good. women groups. Yeah. So finally we are back. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what I saw is very necessary and yeah. important. To come Which we attend. appreciate a lot. Yes, yeah, to come and attend this mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. discussion. Exactly. And uh, I tell Mr. Nyang and uh, also... Uh, Jobate. Uh, yes. It's uh, a pleasure. My friend, mm -hmm. uh, who, uh, who is the human rights... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Have to be here, which I have been doing for so many, so many years. Yes. So now I'm back. Fantastic. And, uh, I am, luckily, I am with the government, mm -hmm. and I want to see that yeah. um, the interests of the Gambian population is represented right, right. at the executive level. Exactly. And uh, also the human rights mm -hmm. um, interests yes. is also put in the right direction. Right. Absolutely. Now, um, let me come right to the point. Yes. Um, that is the COVID-19. Yeah. Um, I can say that the government of the Gambia, under the leadership of President Adam Abaro, mm -hmm. has done a very tremendous good job mm -hmm. for the Gambian people. Mm -hmm. And because the reason why I'm saying that, um, looking at our sub-region here, exactly. what is happening in the sub-region, sub mm -hmm. 
um, in terms of uh, um, the ec their economic performance, mm -hmm. and uh, also that coupled with other issues, security issues, mm -hmm. it's not happening in the country here. Mm -hmm. Look at when this thing started. Mm -hmm. um, everybody was part worldwide. This uh, this this um, global problem. This invisible disease mm -hmm. yeah. is a global problem. Mm -hmm. Not only for Gambia, mm -hmm. not only for Africa, but it's a global. Mm -hmm. We have seen what powerful countries like the United States, mm -hmm. like the United Kingdom, United Kingdom other, other countries still have suffered. Still people, are, people right now are depending on welfare mm -hmm. in other states, yeah. in, in, in powerful in, Even in America, yeah. But here, it does not happen. Mm -hmm. Under the leadership of His Excellency President Adam Barrow, mm -hmm. let's put aside the elite, people who consider themselves we are educated, we are seen in the offices. Mm -hmm. President Adam Barrow is seeing the poor man. Mm -hmm. When this thing came, what he saw was first the poor man mm -hmm. in the villages exactly. who cannot afford to buy paracetamol, who cannot afford to buy a bag of rice, who cannot afford to buy a cup of oil, a cup of sugar. Yeah. He said, listen, he called the Ministry of Finance experts to make sure that Gambians do not go in the street begging. Mm -hmm. And uh, that being the case, he makes sure that whatever he had in his economy under his government is put as a priority to the poor people. Mm -hmm. He went on giving them so giving them rice, yeah. even money. It has never happened here, Mr. Chan. Mm -hmm. Under these circumstances where we are the world is today, mm -hmm. It's only powerful country that can afford to give their public, their, their, their citizens financial support. Where but did that money come from? Right? Can we but, come to no, that? I mean, we'll come to that. Yes. Sir. Yes. So the, there was. But Gambia, we did it. Yeah. Gambia, we did it. Mm -hmm. uh, even the people who are in the smallest hamlets, mm -hmm. help, uh, hamlets in this country, mm -hmm. benefited from the from, from from the government. It wasn't way. just economy. There's also health problem. There were criticisms I can remember that. Uh, facilities in the, in, were non-existent. People, you know, where there is already a problem, this matter has worsened it. There were queries as to, in fact, how many beds do we have? How many testing centers we have in LRR, etc. Those were issues. How were, how were those addressed? Do you think they were addressed adequately? At the time, at the time of the, uh, at the time of the outbreak of this uh, COVID-19, mm -hmm. we all know what this government, in terms of health sector, the health sector, what what this government has inherited. Inherited, yes. Very poor health sector. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, hospitals were poorly mm -hmm. equipped. Mm -hmm. Doctors were in some hospitals, no doctors. No doctors, yeah. But so when it came, it was something that was a state that was emergency, mm -hmm. state of emergency for, for this government. Mm -hmm. we, immediately, mm -hmm. there were hospitals that were re 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 rehabilitated. Yeah, rehabilitated. Immediately, mm -hmm. like sanatorium and other places. And, and uh, also, and there were. Uh, uh, the center in Bacau, where Bacau, all Bacau the treatment also. centers. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, he makes sure that the health sector right. prepare all these units yeah, the mm -hmm. to accommodate okay. the patients. Okay. I mean, I mean, I mean, the emergency of the COVID nineteen, mm -hmm. and they cop they coped it. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and, and, the health and, sector coped. And ambulances were acquired. Ambulances were acquired. Yeah. Jam, you, you have to allow us to have a debate. Yeah, that's what I'm. Are we debating or are we conversation? We are enlisting. We are conversation. When he finishes, when he finishes. When he, finishes, but they are, when they he be finishes, good for an interjection. Now, when he finishes answering the question you have already then answered, you, 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 then you I will have you, you have your chance. Yes. But if you oh, want oh, us no, also no, to no. be pulling, we will, will no listen. No, no, no. When he finishes, no. When he finishes, Mr. Mari, Mari, Mari. When he finishes answering the question in full, as you have done, and you are young. Then we can come into that. Fair you enough. have the right to criticize. Fair enough. No, 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 have no, no not criticism. Yeah, here yeah, is best. No there is no criticism. No, no, there is no criticism here. But also, you cannot cover. You cannot bear it. There is no. No, there is no. There is no criticism here. We are reflective. Frank on discussion on what you think your opinions are. That's it. No criticism. Mr. Chan, before he finish, I want us to have a qualifier here and a disclaimer. I think we are all in this together because we want a better outcome exactly. for our country. Exactly. So but in as much as we're in it together, I mm -hmm. think we all have a duty of care. You have an interest, mm -hmm. which is a partisan interest. Mm -hmm. I have an interest, which is a national interest. Mm -hmm. I don't know what his interest is, but if we let, can have a dialogue. Let me correct that. Let me correct that. That's, yes. not, that's wrong. That you are not correct in that. Mm -hmm. It's not a partisan. Mm -hmm. I have interest of the country, exactly. the Gambian people. 
No. Well, but you're that's interested which part is it? Because that's not partisan. Because people, um, we are, uh, what we are doing, we are benefiting people in the opposition. If you are, we are benefiting people no, from the DC. But, but if you DC are, no, no, and that, critics let's make you. progress. That's not what I'm let's saying, and I'm happy. Say. I'm happy for so, that. But what so I'm saying, that is correct. what I'm saying, if we if we're looking at COVID, the first thing any Gambian, what their salt will say, yes, we have made efforts. Hindsight is 2020. We could have done better. But the moment you are taking it as we have done well, honestly, it's a disservice for the people okay, you are now, helping. It's the government. I'm, now, I'm not saying... Let's, I'm not saying... Mr. Mr. Mal, now I'm let's go... I'm not let's, saying the NPP. I'm let's, not saying... Let's, let's go back to... Particularly this party. I'm okay. saying the NPP. We is representing... My the apology then. My apology so, then. Okay, guys. <laughs> now, <laughs> this is not... This is not <laughs> partisan. This is not partisan. We, what we are let's trying to do... Is okay, my apologies. Is to, review, <laughs> is to review the year. Exactly. Non-partisan way. Where we have gone wrong. What we should do. Exactly. Exactly. So, so yes, Thank the you. government really, uh, as you said, of taking steps like uh, giving relief package and trying to boost uh, health facilities, acquiring modern ambulances, uh, you know, to look after those who have, have been sick. But then there have been criticisms that is um, that overall uh, the government is more interested in scoring political points, um, you know, rather than actually targeting. Uh, as they said, sincerely targeting the vulnerable in this exercise. For example, like you said, there are other households who are still saying that they don't have a grain, a grain of that rice. Has that matter been handled? And also, there are people who say, well, you know, this money you're talking about. Some said uh, this money is that came to many process, like the the, the NAFA um, process. All these, they said, have been made to target where the government has political interests. For example, NAFA money, they said, was actually fast-tracked to go to Nyamina East because there was a by-election at the corner. All these were criticisms. What, how do you react to this? Was the government actually looking at political interests in, in the overall implementation of the COVID package, etc.? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mm -hmm. um, let me come into this NAFA issue. Yes. Money. Yeah, you talk about the government giving money on yes, this. Yes. Yeah, that's an unprecedented. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. What happened is, mm -hmm. at the time of uh, the by-election, it mm -hmm. coincided. It coincided. It, it was coincided. not fast track to, to, to... Never. We, we, we never do that. The uh, people who benefited in Nyamina, mm -hmm. some of them, we cannot, we cannot say these are our supporters are not all... Why didn't you start in Fonyi no, instead listen, of Nyamina? This, there was no by-election in Fonyi. Was there any by election in Fonyi? No. What is so starting if we had started in Fonyi, mm -hmm. then we would have been leveled as, you see, mm -hmm. they, are, they have started in Fonyi because they are having a fight there. But they, they were, they were all like, there were opinions like, oh, they want to woo the Fonyi voters, so that's why they want to do it. We, whatever we do, yeah, they, will they are bound to be criticism on our side. Okay. Even right. if you had started, we are the strongest opposition yeah. here. If you can tell me any opposition. Let's, let's say Bakao and Baribu. Baribu. Yeah. If you had started Baribu, Baribu, the they, of Baribu, they would still say you want the Baribu people. That's or, right. in, or, or what's the name? In Usain Davos village, what's the name? Uh, Dobo. I think Usain Davos. Dobo. Dobo. If you had started in Dobo, uh. they would say Baro has gone to Dobo to, to take Usain's family from him. <laughs> yes. So this is for You are right. You can never escape. Not, that one, we cannot... So it was Nafa, the Nafa down. thing was, you it's know, was not fast tracks, you know, never. to shoot your election interest in Yamina. It was just coincidence. Obviously, never. It was just coincidence. We 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 want we wanted to make sure that the Gambian <laughs> people, the beneficiary, benefit from this this assistant financial assistance. That was the overall aim. Yeah. That was the overall aim. Just like the rights. You talk, uh, people are mentioning about the rights. There are some areas. Yes. Let me tell you, even those areas who have not received it. Yeah. Uh, some of, some of them are supporters of oh, President so, Mamba. So there was no. Policy. I was there. I went. I give you a, a plate like Flabanta. I went there. Yeah. And to talk to the people, and regardless they, of which party you represent. And they told we are representing the, the Gambian people today. Yeah, yeah. We cannot say you are. So the, nobody. Get, there was no direct. Opponent, there was no direct discrimination. There Never. were administrative problems. That's why administrative problem, and we are, and, and they are bound to happen everywhere. Yeah. And they, we we are standing to correct them. They are going to be corrected. Mm -hmm. We have already consulted the. The, the disaster, man uh, disaster management agency. Mm -hmm. They are going to correct those areas mm -hmm. that have not benefited. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, we don't know what happened, how they were They were given tickets, and then the tickets were collected mm -hmm. without receiving the right. Mm -hmm. We got those information. Yeah. During this tour, the tour has given us the opportunity to, to talk to the Gambia at the grassroots level. Okay. And places whereby this type of incidences happen, mm -hmm. we documented them, and they are going to be corrected. 
regardless of what we, party we still you have support. we still have issues with COVID. Um, okay. Um, there are fears that there may be a second surge. Uh, yes. In fact, there are rumors that the government is planning to, you know, at the end of the tour uh, of the president, his political opponent said he intends to shut down the country purportedly for, 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 for to prevent a second surge. Is there any such plan? There is no plan that was just a propaganda, that was just the propaganda, propaganda. By, the opposite, by, by the critics. critics. They were just trying to sell that idea so that the layman over there yeah. that would think, would believe what they are propagating. Okay. We have never, the government has not thought of that. Mm -hmm. What we are doing is we are also preparing mm -hmm. because we have seen it happen, research of this thing in Europe mm -hmm. and other elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So we are also preparing what, what I mean, what, what, what position mm -hmm. will we take to in case mm -hmm. it comes back? But we, we are, we are right as it is now, yeah. there is no plan for that. Okay, Madam? Well, you know, Mr. Mbalo, COVID. typical year of uh, politicians speak in very general terms mm -hmm. and sometimes with very high sounding slogans. But I mean, when we come down to, and I'll go back to Nyang's point at the very beginning, uh, let's be specific. You know, um, the government response has not been transparent, there's not been accountability. Um, even before we get to the rice distribution mm. or the NAFA thing he's talking about. And again, my observation study of politics, not just in the Gambia, but around the world, there's nothing coincidence. There's no coincidence in politics. Mm. No. Everything is yeah? designed. All right. And, and the NAFA thing, mm. based on what he is saying, mm. uh, proves my point. Because NAFA, uh, that's an initiative on the NANA. Mm. All right. And I, I do not see why government would have to um at, at that level be involved because nana would have um received funds uh world bank funds and to know how to distribute it based on a project proposal and a project outline okay. and cash distribution did not start with nafa if you go to the department of social welfare they have a social protection program yes, that is given yes. cash. Yeah, no. So, so let, let's get the specifics so that you know um, the general doesn't really okay. cover the truth. Okay. But that, that is no. not under these circumstances. No. Under no. these circumstances, yeah. we no. government do not need to wait on an institution. No, to do no, 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 no. But government is a is a monolith. Then who should so do it? That's why we, we have yeah. to. Because this no, 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 no. But but state has. Yeah, yeah. No, no. But Mr. Mbalo, we have to recognize that this was one of the things we have talked about jamming. Exactly. Government has institutions with responsibilities. Thank you. And State House doesn't have to get involved in those uh, micro institutions running their projects. But then there's an emergency. No, 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 I can give you an example. The right is, I have just finished mentioning Flavanta, yeah. who have missed, they have not been given the right, mm. and the blame is coming to government, and we left it entirely in the and hands the of, of uh, an institution. Of the disaster, of disaster management. Mm -hmm. okay. We left it there. And that is the failure, we coming back to us. Do you okay. want us, do okay. you expect so, us to leave everything under these circumstances? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's interjecting. No, he's uh, um, no, while no, I'm talking. No, so next time when he's talking, no, I interject. No, 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 no problem. No, 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 now what he was trying to say, if I understand this, he's trying to say that you said that there are established structures which should have been responsible for implementing yeah. those things. He's saying mm -hmm. because of an emergency, it was felt prudent for the state house to directly intervene no. so that the delivery and other things can be effic more efficient. So pick okay. up but, from but, well, let, let, let pick from, let him pick no, from No, 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 allow but me no, for, yeah, I, yeah, I know yeah, I want to. Your money has not finished. So no, he is giving me the floor. No, he has not finished. Uh, well, if you insist, is no problem. <laughs> yeah, so you see, uh, let, let us, it's, it's emergency, mm -hmm. but um, 
that doesn't imply mm -hmm. that there should be interruption, intrusion, mm -hmm. interference mm -hmm. um, with the way things work. Mm -hmm. Nana is a capable state institution um, that can deliver. And so what it has to deliver, which it has been doing since Nana was established. Long time. Now. A long time. And so that even if there's an emergency and you even create a COVID uh, coordination team at the level of the cabinet as a COVID czar, yeah. It has no problem to coordinate, but let the institution deliver this in based on its own, I mean, project outline, not necessarily um, giving it political undertone, pushing it political-wise, and then, because, you know, political issues, social issues, uh, they are not like one plus one is equals to two. So you can sit here and say, no, this was a coincidence, we did not um, favor one group or community against another because of their political affiliation but that is just talk yeah yeah so but before we get to that as i was saying uh the government's response in terms of transparency and accountability we re remember the minister of uh, health standing on the floor of the parliament talking about the corruption in the yes. ministry mm -hmm. and we know how much money from imf from world bank from the Gambia government itself was all mobilized you know, and until today, where are the treatment centers, for example? Um, yeah, but, but you realize those are private initiatives, you know, to uh, GCCI through that telethon raised about 14 to 20 million dollars. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, so there was a lot of private sector initiative. Even civil society, even political yeah, parties. Government yeah. compensate yeah. for what the private they have done. In no, 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 no. I mean, so, so that was limited accountability, mm -hmm. and and that is very important for us to address because at the end of the day, today our economy is weaker. I mean, yes. yeah, it's better place to talk about that. You talk to I was in the Senegambe area, you know, in some of the restaurants. So, I mean, just yesterday, um, you know, these days, and I, I hear their, I mean, trauma, you know, and so. Um, I think the, the government approach has been severely um, weak and, and, and a lot of it um, unaccounted for. And mm. that has to be addressed. Mari, I yeah. want to give him justice. Okay. Yes, the gentleman yeah. lived in the U.S. for quite a while. Yeah. He knows of FEMA, Federal Emergency Management. Mm. Whether it's a Category 25 or a Category 99, mm. FEMA will be in the lead mm. because they're well-placed and well-suited for that. Not in this case. Allow me, please. The first fundamental okay, mistake. Okay. I am an economist. Okay. I hate wastage. Why would the government buy a bag of rice from someone's warehouse, pay one dollar for that rice to be brought to Makati Square and dropped? Pay one dollar again for that rice to be loaded on a truck from Makati Square again to its final destination. What a shame. You are wasting the meager resources of a poor country. So how all would, for how a would, photo op. How could, no, the, wife, how could the rice then be? From the warehouse mm -hmm. to its intended, you know. But what are, what are no, allow me. Rice in but yeah, no, no, allow me, allow me. Mm. Shaib and Mahdi, for example, is selling rice. Mm. You want to take rice to Kian. Mm. Why won't the rice leave Shaib and Mahdi's place directly to Kian? Yeah, okay. But because of a photo op. No, the no, rice no, left, no, allow no, me, no, but if no, you, uh, allow me to finish. Uh, no, no, allow me to finish here. From Gentlemen, je it doesn't make sense. All you need to do is account for the rice. You are telling me there is no common sense or logic in governance. Mm -hmm. Why should the rice come, people stand behind bags of rice like a hill to take a picture when you are making the Gambian taxpayer pay additional fat, meaning the rice from the warehouse to the Makati Square discharge one dollar C. Uploaded from Makati Square again to the truck, one dollar C. Uploaded from Makati Square again to its final destination, three dollars is on that bag of rice. Imagine you buy two million bags of rice, six times three, 18 million. You could have saved the Gambian minimum yeah, but some it's... money. Yeah. And here we are saying, let us, you know, this is hindsight. Mm -hmm. If you were to do it again, things like that should not happen. That's my point. Okay, the point. Point blank and simple. Let me come. You talk about. Uh, okay, if, for example, you want, you would have loved the rice to be delivered from Saben Madi's to, to, to Kian Collier, there should have been. There, there must have to be an accountability. You are now telling I mean, me that the government is no, incompetent. Anybody? Allow me. No, no. Allow me. Allow me. If he happens to say. 
whether him or you, that the government cannot take rice on account from any store mm -hmm. to a final destination without physically seeing it, you are telling me that this is an incompetent can government can who cannot even manage things okay. that yeah. are tangible. Yeah, yeah, because Chad, that's NDMA. Wait a minute, that, that's NDMA. The, there's WFP, all right? There used to be World Food Program. There used to be called here Tesito Rice for Tesito Works. And this food are delivered directly from the WFP to the communities. Because they're competent. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. but yeah. Then, there are local then, structures, but local then, there are there. issues. There were times when trucks were diverted. Well, we had that problem. But you. still, Account well, account accountability. WFP. My friend, WFP's problem is not my problem. My problem is what I own and who controls it. Answer this. No, Mr. Mbala. Are you sure? No, Mr. Mbala. Are you sure? Answer this question. Why are you piling up this rice only for Vice President to come there and to court some... Rabbi Sindhi Helm. Yeah, some... How would I call it? Some recitation, <laughs> unheard of <laughs> recitation. And, and, and insulting the youth. No, <laughs> eh? I mean, that that's is below the belt. Yeah. Yeah. And I, no, 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 I'm trying, to say, I'm trying to say how it happened. <laughs> no. Where it could have easily been, where it could have been avoided and could have easily been delivered to Koleor or, or to, to Badibu without uh, that much ceremony. I mean, uh, um, let, me, let me respond to Mr. Nyan. Yeah, that's what I'm trying, that's what he said. This was good. This distribution was done in that way for good reasons. Because we put into consideration of what used to happen in the past. We learned our lesson through what used to happen during previous governments. We have seen, um, you have, thank God, you have just started mentioning about that, this school feeding program. That yeah, that's right. was. We used to hear truck, full truck. Yes, that's true. Let me tell you, Cooperative Union, Cooperative Union under PPG. I have that we have that on record. Mm. Trucks used to you truck full full loaded of rice used to be discovered used to be found in in Kerberi. Mm. Be careful, you went, your people went. Uh, I mean, went to trouble with the PVP. So be <laughs> no, but here be careful. I mean, the PVP people, we are not we are not criticizing. <laughs> okay. We are looking at ways how it used to exist. How okay. We can adjust okay, okay. And also the progress we okay. have made okay. that we are here. Okay, okay. And I think the people then. We will mention PPP, we will mention APRC, we, and uh, even the MPP, yeah. it, people will mention it. Mm. As long as you are, uh, you are yeah. representing the yeah. people of this country, exactly, yeah. expect that your leadership must be mentioned. Mo it depends on you to come and correct it. Exactly. I, I have mentioned cooperative union, mm. I, and I have it documented. Mm. Until Sana Mane, takes Mane, if you can remember, yes. let me just give you a brief history of what happened. Mm. When Sanamale reported this thing, yeah. how many trucks yeah. were discovered yeah. until they went to court? Yeah. Jawara was in London. When he came back, this question was put for, for him mm -hmm. at the okay. airport. He said, anybody who is found to, to his music. To the tune. Yeah. I think, just a brief review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this President Barrow has learned from all those problems well, I see. with institutions <laughs> corrupt, yeah. corrupting uh -huh. the resources of this nation. Yeah. So that's why he came yes, that. the So, that so means... that's why he came and he brought the army. Mm -hmm. Why didn't they mention the security that was put at the Makati Square? Mm -hmm. We have seen the security, PIU, mm -hmm. the National Army, mm -hmm. who were escorting from the from the from the warehouse mm -hmm. to the Makati Square destination mm -hmm. to prove to the leadership. The vice president and the president. But that even, even there, we have collected so disappeared. and so. But at a cost to the Gambian. No, it is called incompetence, my as brother. Long as, as long as the Gambians are benefiting. At what cost? That is the worst impact. At yeah, what but cost? Yeah, okay. But the point is, but I mean, even, is even no what he's talking you about. From Saibin Madi, mm -hmm. You said Saibin Madi, you are trying to economize directly, take it to Chlor mm -hmm. or, or take it to Can Canilla mm -hmm. and the Two truck, three truck disappeared. Yeah, yeah, but, but then you are not incompetent. No, no, no. all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, Since we started the Champ. distribution, yeah. ask me, did he hear any truck? It's any, not about what I hear, it's the oh, cost. Oh, yes. My but then, oh, yes. Mr. Balde, Mr. Balde, with all due respect, with all due respect, no, 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 that we are missing. With all due respect, all right, I am not looking. Me, I am not worried about the intended participants or people getting the rise mm -hmm. i am saying mm -hmm. your government our government my government must be mindful of the cost in service delivery it doesn't make any common sense to take rice from point a to a middle point then to point c when it could have left a to c directly and you have your controls between a and c 
cut out B and save okay. the Gambian taxpayer so, money. It's logic. Yeah, yeah. So logic. Right, Cham, okay. Cham, as okay. Neil is saying, Madi, let's go to Madi. Madi, Madi. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. It's not efficiently spent. All right, Madi. Just give me. Yes, yes. Because we have the constitution. Right. I mean, yeah. As Nyan just said, I think right now we are seeing planes and trucks leaving Pfizer. Moderna places in the U.S. going to, you know, without any ceremony in any airport, you know, to show all of those things. But again, I just want to go back to the transparency accountability issue. Until now, it's December, we've not had a COVID report accounting for every butut. You know, we know. I mean, we saw in the National Assembly when it had a COVID committee. You know, battling with the Minister of Finance and officials for accountability for the way and manner they access and use the resources, and and that is very important because until now, um, Gambia government, given the huge amount of resources they've accumulated, I mean, I, I I may not be able to put the figures together like he would, but in my I mean non-economic mind, what I have just calculated is over four billion dollars between March and August or June, what has been accumulated. That is the loans, the grants, and the supplementary appropriation bills. Yes, yeah. And so, when you look at the gra on the ground, mm -hmm. you have only one time you had this food distribution, which is very unsatisfactory. Mm -hmm. He may have his sources that things are okay, but we also have our sources that there have been missing bags of rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, understand? There have been communities that we are not, you know, giving these things. Yeah, he admitted. That. All right. I said all, right. Back all, 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 all right. F I fine. Said, yeah. All right. But fine. So, so all of those instances yeah. have happened. Mm -hmm. But not yeah, yeah, I understand. Not um, in terms of the health, the life issue of itself, um, at the end of the day today, um, we have not seen any marked improvement in our overall health system, and particularly positioning the country to deal with future emergencies. You've seen, for example, a country like Ghana, with effective leadership, they managed to mobilize the private sector to build an uh, infectious disease emergency center, so that from today going forward, uh, they will be able to handle these things. As civil society, I remember we had convened a meeting with the COVID czar and the uh, uh, director of health services um, sometime in uh, July, August. As much as we appreciated the great effort our health workers were doing, I remember those health workers even had to strike for non-payment of their allowances. Yeah, we had they had complained of lack of PPEs and you know other I mean materials or so that they needed to save themselves, especially given the high infection rate among them. So all of that brings back to the issue of accountability. So the, the corruption that he talked about, I mean, uh, in the past, it, it's outlandish right now, just around the COVID alone. Mm. Yeah, and, and, and these are issues that have to be addressed because, uh, uh, yes, they have given money. We know to the media, they gave them $15 million. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. The hotel operators. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the hotel. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you know, go to the hotel industry. I wish one day you bring the hotel association here mm -hmm. to, to look at, you know, how do those things were handled or carried out. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what about other businesses? Mm -hmm. He talked about which no government ever did so. Mm -hmm. Senegal here provided relief. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Pro provided relief yes. for, for, for even um, welder, welder, you know, welder men or women, yeah. I mean, carpenters and, you know, informal sector people. Mm -hmm. Just to cover up for the you know massive the destruction or, or I mean that COVID had brought. Before, before, so before uh, we move into the, uh, you know, the constitution issue, yeah. let me let me correct this because yeah. Mr. Nyang mentioned of this thing, the same issue he's mentioning here mm -hmm. about about the Minister of Health. Mm -hmm. I mean coming out of Parliament. Yes, he did say he said uh, there were attempts to put even his own name. I think uh, the government. The go yeah. uh, we have all seen when the Minister of Health came out mm -hmm. and uh, started crying. This type of malpractices mm -hmm. in his ministry, yeah. the government jumped it. Mm -hmm. We brought somebody, Alassane Senghor. Mm -hmm. If I can, he didn't, correct, correct me if he I didn't have, stay long. He didn't stay long. They, they, they they didn't come. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's what I'm trying to address. Mm -hmm. We brought Alassane Senghor to come and step in yeah. to, to be the COVID sign, in, in so mopping, to speak. In mopping this situation, yeah. this malpractices that has been allegedly been going in the Ministry of Health right, yeah. in the past, which the minister has inherited. Mm -hmm. And he was trying to correct it. Eliminate, yeah. And he needed help. We brought Alassane Senghor to help. Mm -hmm. At the time that Alassane Senghor came, mm -hmm. we, he already put up a team, mm -hmm. a composition of team. I think even human rights 
uh, activists we are, we are among the team, mm -hmm. and also journalists we are among the team, mm -hmm. until we had confidence mm -hmm. that now they can handle it. Aras and Semo even didn't see the need mm -hmm. for him to even to occupy because things started going in the right direction. Oh, oh I thought he ah. had reasons. Oh, <laughs> that's a flagrant. I have no <laughs> <team>. <laughs> Oh, I thought he I, had... Pass, uh, unsatisfactory reasons about the arrangements. It's, uh, oh, he never said so anyway, but he left. He never said so. Oh. Did, he, did, he, did he point well, out? Well, well, he didn't say the conditions yeah. were such that he cannot operate with mm -hmm. him. No, mm -hmm. so he didn't specify yes, because the conditions. Because he cannot operate because now we have put an efficient committee mm -hmm. that was handled. So he didn't, see, since he, didn't, that time. he didn't feel since the need to go. He doesn't see the need. The need. Uh -huh. I am there because there is the need for me to be there. Nah. But Listen, then now is it? If there is no need, mm -hmm. why should I be here? Okay. I think I think somebody was appointed. Somebody was appointed. Somebody was a misrepresentation of the facts. No. What yes. Is, like, no, no, no. Of course. Mr. Mr. That, that what is what propaganda. Is let me go, let no, me finish. No, no, I have not no, 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 responded to you. But Mr. Senor, I'm not FEMA. But Mr. Senor, Mr. Senor, I'm not FEMA. I have to put that thing straight. Now, now listen, listen. No, no, listen. We haven't had. We haven't had. With respect, when we sit here. Let us be God-fearing and nation-loving. And that's what we are doing. Mr. Alassane Senghor didn't leave because everything was rosy. Mm. Let us be fair. Nothing is rosy How did How did he leave? No, how did he leave? No, what I said was... How did he leave? Let's, let's, let's ask you. No, no, you want me to repeat my statement? How did he why? leave? No, le, le, how did he leave? He, he said... Mm. Yeah. No, how did Alassane Mr. Senghor leave? Alassane never felt the need to be there after everything was in place. So he went to where he... What? Mm. I, what I said. That's what he said. Yes, what I said. I when Alassane Senghor came, mm. that, listen to me, let me repeat my word. Mm. When Alassane Senghor, when, when the minister made this statement, mm. the executive feel necessary to bring somebody who can help the minister because the minister needed the help. That's why he voiced out, he shouted in parliament mm. that my ministry, I'm having problems. Mm. There are a couple of people who are paying themselves. Mm. So we saw it necessary to bring somebody, an independent somebody, outside of the Ministry of Health. Mm. That's why we tap Alassane Senghor to come in. Mm -hmm. As what? The sound. You, you, know, you know the person he was hurting. To hate, to hate yeah. the, 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 the coordination the, 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 of the uh, finance of the uh, COVID-19. Mm -hmm. When he came, we also we were also making other arrangements to cope this situation. Not only one direction. Yes, we couldn't sit down and say, now Alassane Senghor is here, everything is fine. Mm -hmm. No, as a responsible government, we saw it as we should go on and brainstorm to see how we can address this properly. Mm -hmm. And we, we got a committee. We formed a committee at the same time, compos composition of journalists, mm -hmm. human rights activists, um, also um, uh, uh, opinion leaders, they came and that? formed this thing. And they started putting things in the right perspective. Can I and I said, Senghor started working with these people, and he saw it. I saw it unnecessary now. Can I respond? How did, Since that time. How did Senghor? Like, we never had well, anything. I Tell me. You. It might be he knows something that we don't know. Mr. Tell Malo, us what Senghor told Mr. Ma No, I need not talk to Senghor. Mm. Okay. But Senghor is a patriot mm. who will not live in the middle of a pandemic to help these people if mm. things were rosy, number one. Mm. Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles, they are blind, but they know that Senghor didn't leave because everything was smooth. It, no, no, allow me. Look, Not in this smooth. No, no, no. But this we cannot be in the middle let's of a pandemic. Mm -hmm. The Minister of Health complaining. Mm -hmm. And you tell me, even Albert Einstein can fix that problem in a week. It's a structural problem. It's not something that even one person or five people can fix within two months or three yeah, months. Yeah. So the, your the, answer the, is a misrepresentation yeah. of the facts. It is yeah. the fact. It's yeah. not, no, no, it no, it no. is not corrected. Can you tell me? Since that time, did you hear so the Minister of Health or anybody easy, making an allegation that the Minister made? It so is no, not easy. You are trying to so it is easy, the, the, the nation building must be so easy that whenever we have a problem, we can call yeah. on Alassane Senghor to smooth yeah. the problems just like so, that. So, so that's not I am not saying that Alassane so, Senghor corrected it. What I said was, what I, I never I, did I say Alassane corrected it? I said when he came, coupled with the COVID that we formed. Now, now, now okay, okay, like, let's move on. Let's, okay, let's move on. Okay, making a storm out we, of a team. We are, no, we are, no, 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 no,
he made a statement yeah. about FEMA. Mm -hmm. um, you remember he made her, uh, FEMA federal, angry this yeah. type of thing. Yeah, in America. I wanted to come, I, I, I just ah, okay. one minute. One minute, yes. About FEMA. Yeah, why is, why is it different from the Gambian? Uh, Gambian uh, FEMA. Yeah, uh, let me, let me, let me remind him. Mm -hmm. When this thing came, the state of emergency, mm -hmm. FEMA was not left alone to handle this situation in the United States. Mm -hmm. I have all my daily. Mm -hmm. I am monitoring what is happening in the United States because I like have a monitor. I have all my family. I think so not only COVID, by the way. The governor of New York State yeah. took the money, he, he declared a state of the money, he, he took it from, from an old institution, mm -hmm. the governor mm -hmm. in, in, in New York City. Mm -hmm. He said he's going to have we cannot be wait and see these people suffer. Because That's what happened. Issue. So for him to come here and say that the government should have left this thing with with an institute. Emergency. Uh, that is that is incorrect. Is, is no right. government will do that. Right. 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 Madi, Madi, finally. Yeah, just to say, um, Alassane did not leave because things were right as he said but he didn't say why no, he left yeah, no no I, I think no no he he didn't go into details ah, okay. but what he just got to say he clearly no no i did not i mean um the, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, he talked about the conditions were not uh, appropriate mm. no, uh, no, 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 no 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 i mean no. i've read this in the media well okay go ahead what's to that effect Your whether that was all right but but the point is alasan was in broad there to fix the ministry of health mm. it was to coordinate the national response mm. somebody to oversee the national response to COVID. Mm -hmm. and even when alasan left mm -hmm. still when he thinks things are right mm -hmm. they still went ahead to appoint a second person yes, you know, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 and and who we don't hear and see for the past couple of months mm. yeah i understand mm. so um the key issue is mm -hmm. what the minister raised mm -hmm. It's not that it is solved. No, it's not solved. Mm -hmm. Both the minister, the National Assembly, and the executive, particularly the police, mm -hmm. fail to work on what the minister... Because if you allege corruption, mm -hmm. there are administrative legal issues mm -hmm. to deal with, to handle that. Okay. And that has to be handled. Mm -hmm. So that months later, we still see, mm -hmm. as I said, health workers mm -hmm. protesting, striking mm -hmm. for lack of materials for lack of payment of their allowances mm -hmm. so overall the national response to COVID, mm -hmm. not to mention the fact that the national response wasn't inclusive yeah because wfd made uh, uh, i mean uh, um, sort of uh, an assessment mm -hmm. with various stakeholders persons with disabilities with women all right the national response did not capture um all of the sectors of our society yeah. in order to ensure that they uh, mitigate mm -hmm. the impact of COVID on our people. Okay. And that impact largely because of the state of emergencies that were declared. Uh -huh. You know, the enforcement of that state of emergency, whether it's the coffee mm -hmm. or the, you know, enforcement of face masking and all of that. So the entire approach to national response was largely politicized, mm -hmm. but was not looking at really the very circumstances, mm -hmm. the challenges posed by COVID on our social economic life and to address that okay so, so the the the, the uh, few instances of interventions like the rice distribution or the gas distribution uh is still a far cry from what the country needs and the resources were there Thank so you. where are the resources why the COVID billions one of our civil society groups gambia participate mm -hmm. they have i mean produced reports yeah. on this matter the journalists i mean have done so i remember one report also. by a Malagan newspaper by you know did a report on this and serious discrepancies exactly all right the unfortunate thing about Gambia is finally any yes any group can just come up and claim, claim it here to an observant group no mm. I, I take serious it objection no no i take serious okay. objection you are making claims as government. Not long ago, your minister went in a public rally, Hamad Ba, to lie against a public, a national assembly. Just to ask anybody. These are legitimate, these are legitimate organizations based in their findings on facts. Okay. So, so he can come here and, 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 these are, these are, so there are some organizations that are critics of the government. They have no credibility. Which like who? Like who? Like who? As I said, let's not be general. Let us be specific. Let's go. Let's name them. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. No. 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 They know themselves. You are the one claiming it. They know themselves. No. No. Anybody who is non-neutral, who is have, who have the leaning of an opposition, and you 
claiming to be an independent observer mm -hmm. or to be an independent no, that, um, that, activist. Mm. You, that, you, that, Mr. Mbalo. That is, that is yeah, 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 talk. Mr. Mbalo, my yeah, short yeah, stint in school. Now listen, we are going to... Mari, I would not expect you to speak. My short stint in school, if you accuse, you will substantiate. Now listen. But that's what you are doing. No, no, no. Now, now. Listen, yes, Mbalo, look, because you are Mbalo, making a very Mbalo, serious Mbalo, accusation. Mbalo, Mbalo, Mbalo. Yes. No. But but if you accuse, you must substantiate. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, if you cannot stay in the kitchen, we no. have that in we have that those but, type of organizations. But name them. But name them. But name them. Like who? I can't name them. But what I can put a cap on the table. Why can't you name them? Why can't you name them? Are you afraid? End of story. Name them. Name them, name them Mr. Mr. Barlow. The is here. Let us Let's Yeah, we are moving. Oh, was the defeat in the National Assembly of the Constitutional Draft. Yes. We understood uh, that the, the bill actually needs two-thirds majority for it to pass. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, a minority National Assembly members exercised their rights, legitimate rights, to block it from attaining two-thirds majority. And it was defeated, leading to much upheaval uh, in and around the country. Many people believe that Actually, this document is perhaps the most important um, in, this, in the much talk about reform that this government is implementing. And for it to die like that was seen to be really very, 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 very bad in terms of um, how the new Gambia is trying to position itself. <laughs> Why do you think, uh, gentlemen, that we have to draft, spend $130 million on a project for only for it to fail from the 116 first, 116 okay three three million more than i have thought uh, only for it to fall at the first lap again politicization of the the, the 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 issues in the country or like you said public officials failing to look at the national interest but partisan issues i want to start yes start. first mm -hmm. we cannot look at this draft constitution as an independent tool we need to look at our botch failed transition agenda comprehensively. Why did Gambians boot Yaya Jame out? Principally to end self-perpetuating rule and restore the rights and dignity of our people and also correct the wrongs of the past as it relates to the fiscal plundering that happened and also the criminalization of Gambians who were not criminal and the dispossession of Gambians through lands and other things. These were our principal things that we fought for. The Jane Commission, we have seen how it has been compromised. The only thing we have a little bit of faith left is the TRRC waiting to see what the outcome is. Now to the draft constitution. All of Yaidafane Doma Rei Bepare Jalema. What does that mean? There is one word called, a phrase, sorry, called political machination. We have seen the invincible hands of certain clusters of society trying to kill this draft for one reason and one reason alone, not secularism or any other thing, promotion of self-perpetuation. If any well-meaning politician cares about this country, cares about our horrendous history, they will not bother to think about this term of mind should not count. It's not only selfish, it has derailed our collective endeavors of attempting to build a new country. And mind you, this government is not to build a new country. This government is to be the architect who will draw our plans that a new country will be built on subsequently. Mm. And we have collectively failed, 
because some of us didn't put the right pressure we should have put to put the brakes before it happened. And anyone who supports self-perpetuation by even thinking that a two-term is only two-term is not a term that's not specified by law, then that person is not fit to call himself or herself a Democrat or be a champion of good governance. Mari, why do you think uh, the Constitution, with all the work that has gone into, all the consultations that have gone to, at the end of the day, it fell so miserably, uh, you know, even to move from one, mm -hmm. uh, uh, one step? Well, pre President Adam Abaro. He, he, why do you say so? Yeah. Um, and we saw that through newspaper reports, opinions of the cabinet. Yeah on various issues, primarily on this term issue, yes. and his political surrogates, mm -hmm. um, including Mr. Mbalo here, mm -hmm. making references, you know, that indicate that they are not interested mm -hmm. in this constitution simply because of, um, you know, this particular issue. Mm -hmm. And as journalist Mustafa Dabo remarked, I mean, uh, which never occurred to me, that if you claim the term of office should not start in 2017, but 2021, and then the two terms follow, mm -hmm. in principle, giving you 15 years, mm -hmm. yet at the, uh, the Constitution should, uh, meaning the next president should be subject only 10 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is special about you? That you should be um, up for 15 years, but from you, henceforth, every other person Gambian would have at most 10 years. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So, um, as but Nyang was trying to say, say, but then you have to forget the fact, the argument is that the law should not be applied back. Yeah, I mean, you know, which is not a problem, Charm. Mm. Uh, there's only retroactive about this. Mm. Um, you know, from a, um, a humorous law point of view, uh, what is retroactive um, w when it is um, not appropriate is when it would deny you your right. It yeah. would take away yeah. your right or... But that's the argument. Uh, no, no, no. no Cham, yeah, let me yeah. land. No, that's the argument. Well, is, the, well, right of the argument the is that, that you when, when you start it now, <laughs> you are discriminating. No, okay, it's fine. So, president. yeah, I see. I know. Oh, I know. I know. But what I'm saying, mm -hmm. this is not discriminating Barrow. Mm -hmm. Because 2070, 2021, mm -hmm. that is the time he's been elected. Mm -hmm. He is going to enjoy that right in full. Thank you. It has not been taken away from him. So the idea of retroactiveness does not apply there. Yeah. Ah, if it has said, you know, uh, the time of office would be, you know, 2017 to 2018 mm. or 2020, Man, so that the, the like, one like year... The, like the three years jobs. Yeah. So, so maybe you can claim something is taken away from him. But yes. in this instance, Full nothing time. is taken away from him. Mm. We remove Jame 2017 mm. and we hope to uh, start a new Gambia from henceforth. Mm. And from henceforth, we are saying any Gambian who happens to be president, mm -hmm. you have the opportunity to serve for up to 10 years maximum. Mm -hmm. And starting 2017, regardless of whether you are the one there right now, 2017, mm -hmm. or I was the one there, or Mr. Barrow or Mr. Barrow, mm -hmm. whoever, it starts from there. So therefore, uh, it's arrogance, mm -hmm. really. For me, huge arrogance and dishonesty mm -hmm. for you to claim that no, but for this 2017 mm -hmm. to 2021, that will not be counted. What is special about you to say that? I mean, are you the owner of the Gambia? Mm -hmm. So I find it very insulting, honestly. Mm -hmm. And you know, if anything is unfair, that is what is unfair. Mm -hmm. That your time starts in 2017 and then two times again from 2021 to 2032, and then hence for everyone 10 years. So uh, this whole idea. Mm -hmm. For the, I mean, the reason for the failure of this constitution, which we saw, mm -hmm. since this first draft was presented to Barrow in uh, November 2019, mm -hmm. he did not make any comment about it. Mm -hmm. The draft went through review again. The final draft was submitted to him 31st, 30th March 2020. Mm -hmm. He did not make any public statement. Mm -hmm. As the leader mm -hmm. of the Gambia, out of dictatorship, authoritarian regime, mm -hmm. we in unleashed, on launched a national transitional program, mm -hmm. which includes the, like the Janet Commission, the TRRC, a new constitution, which is really the foundation mm -hmm. of the entire transitional program. Thank you. Because the constitution really is the very basis of our sovereignty, our democracy, our good governance, our republic. All right, to restore all the things he's talking about, th that is the constitution. All of these other commissions, initiatives, security sector reform, civil society reform, all of those are 
meant to, you know, be founded on the Constitution. So more than anything, the transitional justice program is anchored on the Constitution. It's the mother of the thing. Absolutely. And so for any president wait, wait, to have initiated that process, mm -hmm. nothing was more important, mm -hmm. uh, greater for Barrow to talk about Champion. when you were given that draft. Mm -hmm. Barrow did not talk about it in May, in March. Mm -hmm. He waited. If you know the Constitution says you have six months to mm -hmm. do whatever, mm -hmm. but as given our circumstances, our history, mm -hmm. you should be the champion of this matter. So that immediately you could have addressed the nation, mm -hmm. fellow Gambians, today I have received the final draft, mm -hmm. which reflects all of our opinions, our you know desire for a new Gambia. Mm -hmm. I am going to do A, B, C, and D. He never said that. Mm -hmm. We had to raise pressure mm -hmm. that in May they gazetted it. Mm -hmm. And when he gazetted it, again, it was a, a milestone moment mm -hmm. for Barrow to come and face the nation. To say, today I have gasseted our final draft constitution mm -hmm. and A, B, C, and D. That did not happen. It was gasseted until September. He, his Minister of Justice put it before the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. Another milestone moment to face government. To say, fellow Gambians, today we have reached another milestone to put this draft before the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. National Assembly members, I urge you to approve this draft. Thank you. That never happened. They debated it, you know, through his you know, I mean, so machinations, mm -hmm. they killed it even when they had all the legal rights, the power, the opportunity to take it to the next step, to the next step, to review, to edit, if you feel things are there, you don't want to change. They didn't even want to have a conversation around it. They just voted no. But they will. You know, and then when they voted no, another milestone moment for a responsible head of state to come back to your people to say, fellow governments, it's with sadness to announce that our final draft constitution did not pass. Mm. He never did that. You sat there since September until months later today, mm. you go to Nigeria, mm. bring a, 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 a former head of state, a, 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 engage an, an international NGO in a so-called uh, consensus building. Mm. And until today, our press hasn't reported to us as Gambians that I have therefore decided to initiate a new process to revive the constitution. I mean. I mean, I, I feel, as a, as a citizen of this country, I feel disrespected, I feel consulted, I mean, insulted, you know, okay. for such gross, bad leadership. Okay, now, we, we, waste we, we, of we, public resources. Okay, Mr. Mara, yes. um, uh, the, 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 the issues at hand is that um, there is suspicion that, uh, well, you know, even before the Constitution was presented to the National Assembly, the Position, cabinet position, the opinion of cabinets uh, to the first draft was that uh, counting Barrow's term, including this present term, as his uh, first term, will discriminate against whoever was sitting, against Barrow, because it's Barrow. <laughs> Two, the powers that have been, the sweeping powers, they call it, have been given to the president, uh, rather the National, National Assembly, Assembly, you know, actually really, or, you know, uh, will, will handicap the president. In, 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 in the rights that have been given to him, the powers that have been given to him by it. Um, those are the key issues that the government had trouble with, uh, with the draft. Now, if by coincidence, as you would like to call it, um, sympathizers of the government in the National Assembly voted against it, it's not hard to, to, to believe that actually this was a pre-arranged, premeditated move for that side. What do you say about it? Um, okay, uh, Mr. Chair. <laughs> This is a good discussion um, because here we have somebody, Mari and Nyang. Um, I would not be surprised to hear this thing from Mari, somebody who has advocated to abrogate or to violate the Gambia Constitution. We all know Section 63, Subsection 2, the Subsection 2 of the Constitution state that any elected president of the Republic of the Gambia should have a term of five years. He's aware of that. I, he was expected as somebody who is claiming to be an activist to defend the Constitution. But he never did that. I was disappointed. If I were here, if I were in his position today defending the Constitution, anybody who said three years, I would have said no. But, but, but we are not talking no, three no, years. No, 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 I'm, I'm coming, no, coming okay, start, no, start, I'm, start, I'm trying to just give it a background. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to bring the background mm -hmm. of what happened. Mm -hmm. So if he comes here today, mm -hmm. Telling us about the country, uh, what he is saying. So that's why I'm saying I am not surprised. If it was somebody, 
a defender, constitutional defender, who came here and said this, I would argue with him, but not him. Okay, let's move on. You understand? Let me, let me tell you, this constitution, the one, one, um, 1. 1.16 million that has been thrown out in parliament. 116 million. Oh, sorry, 216, that's what I said. 100, I'm sorry, 116. It's not the making of the government. The people who voted there have in the past voted against the big event President Barrow's bills. And we can, we could, President Barrow couldn't do neither, neither about it. So why should, what can he do now? When the APRC party, <laughs> National Assembly members were in parliament, they have the right to vote any side of their choice. And they voted against it. They said they prefer their constitution, 1997. What can Barrow do? What can anybody do? GDC, who are keen opponents of Barrow, we all know, at that material time, some okay. voted against it. What can we do? What can Barrow do about it? Other people, other, other National Assembly members, also voted against it. Who are they? NRP. They also, also voted against it. What can Barrow do? If, if they have voted, yes. What can Barrow do? They have already surrendered. Not, wait, wait, wait. No, not, don't not, accuse not, them. Don't it is a party. Don't interrupt. So now, it would be very unfair for anybody to come here and say that Barrow is the one who, 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 who made this constitution fail. He never. It's not MPP part members who, who yeah. voted against this thing. Let them, let them please. Gambian people expect them to tell people the truth. If, if Barrow had MPP National Assembly members who put this constitution in, to the garbage or turn it out, we all would have accepted that, oh, the government put this thing, they put all these transitional programs in place, and yeah, now they have turned it out. But vote, now, now, how before, can you blame? Now, before the vote, certain National Assembly members may not be NPP, because the NPP wasn't born at the time of the election, mm. with defection. Mm. But they call themselves independent. They are independent. But they've made public declarations that expressly, you know, indicate their support to President Barrow. Because they said it was not representing the, the, the constitution. Certain section of the constitution is not representing the, the, the interests of the, their people. The, the NRP, and that's why they are the elected. NRP, the NRP yes. is publicly known to have said expressly their support to President Jamel, to President Barrow. Yes. So those ones may not be NPP, but they definitely made their position clear. They are sympathetic. They are, we they, now, we, we the call a, them sympathetic. I can, I can understand APRs. Those, yes. those people may have their own reasons. What of GDC? Okay, the GDC, some of them have started defecting to the agenda of President Barrow. So all, some. The, all the people who voted yes. against the vote can, to some extent, be fairly said, are already um, in the political agenda or following the political agenda of Mr. Barrow. No, that, that, is, that is not correct. That is not correct. Okay, that's not correct. Be, be, so what is correct, according to you, is that this people... What is correct is these democracy... Voted, vo democracy these what? people voted in, in according, a nutshell. To, according to their own um, thinking, their own opinion about the, 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 the inadequacies of the document, etc. They voted independently and nobody can blame President Barrow for that. In a, in a nutshell, yeah. what happened at the National Assembly is mm -hmm. democracy was at work. Okay. Now, they were independent, uh -huh. they had the right, anybody, no. what do you think any about? member of that, that, that National Assembly uh -huh. had that right. Okay. At the well, national, at they, that material they, time, they to, to answer, to did. represent the interests of they their act, constituencies. They acted legitimately. They were represent. Yes. Yeah. Nobody, nobody said what they did was illegal. I didn't vote. Oh yeah. He didn't vote. We could not. Nyang didn't vote. Yeah. Now they now, voted. What the national make, assembly member voted. What do you make of the current process, as Madi said? Yes. To revive it. Now, this we must say and acknowledge that this at the uh, the behest of the presidency, it's President Barrow who invited Goodluck Jonathan to start the process of perhaps looking for compromise. Yeah, what, I mean... What, how do you receive it? That what yes, Mr. Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. um, this government is a democratic government. Mm -hmm. We believe in democracy yeah. and rule of law. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that whatever we are doing mm -hmm. is in the interest of the Gambian people. Mm -hmm. 
we all felt it very bad when 1.16 million was thrown away. People celebrated. That was the reason why we started Voice It Out. My, the, the, my there friend, were celebrations. There were celebrations. Some NPP officers officer 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 celebrated it. Don't interrupt. No, no. Don't interrupt. No, no, we just okay, let's go we ahead. need to clarify. No, qualify no celebration. We are celebrating. No, no. We have it on video. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, the no, the man, the, the no, oh, man, did you see any celebration as he said? Man, don't interrupt. Yes. No. It was reported. No, no, instead, no, no, House no, and some MPP no, officers. No, no, yes, no, no, yes. No, no. There have been pictures of that. If man. NCP celebrate, if, if, if the NCP party had celebrated, we cannot stop them. No. Is there yes, a party? Yes, no, yes. No. yes. But yes. nobody yes. saw the same yes. yes. house. Go ahead. You said there was. Let, let him allow me to. Let him not blame the, the yeah. action of NCP. And then go ahead. You are saying. No, let him go ahead. You are saying that the government itself felt it very. What I'm saying is, we all know. This was not our wish mm -hmm. for us to put this type of transition mm -hmm. in place mm -hmm. and then any of them to fail. Mm -hmm. That's not the wish of President Argon yeah. That's why he put the uh, T, I mean, the, he put the, um, the Jane Commission, mm -hmm. the TRRC, mm -hmm. so that Gambian people can reconcile, put their differences <laughs> aside, okay. come together, mm -hmm. forget about the past. That was the overall aim, aim and objective of the TRRC. The Jane Commission. The overall aim was to make sure that we learn from it learn. what has happened and if if necessary to punish anybody I'm, I'm, we are not no, that, that me. <laughs> don't forget the process the current process to revive the uh, to revive i'm coming the, back i'm coming back yes. he mentioned i just want to brush oh, it okay. one time right. rather than dealing with exactly. it si single-handed yeah. i just want to because he mentioned this yeah, guy yeah, and right. yeah, so i'm ahead. coming go ahead um so okay now let me just come to the journey come the uh, to the, to the TRR. yeah. TRRC, the reason why we pointed, my, my, my friend, Jari Madi Jovadi pointed, he gave me an example, and, he, uh, and I said, I pointed out certain section of the Constitution mm -hmm. that I don't think whether they are favorable to the interests of the Gambian people. Mm -hmm. And I said, I mentioned the retroactive active clause, mm -hmm. which I am right. I said, I've never seen it anywhere. Mm -hmm. For a president to be elected, now you want him to restrict, re a constitution that has not been put in place, the 20, 2019 constitution, was not in place. How can you put, tell him that now is, he will not contest elections? That was wrong. If, the 1990, if it was stated in the 1997 constitution that any transitional president in this country, <laughs> anybody selected on, elected under a transition period would only serve that term or cannot serve, we, he would have respected that. But it is not seen now until today, Mad, uh, Mr. Lamin. We are we have we are ruled by the 1997 Constitution. Mr. They Chair. cannot come and then violate the right of President Adam Barak. Mr. Chairman, no, no allow me. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They cannot. They wanted to violate the right of Adam Barak with the Gambian population. So it as a bully. Mm -hmm. They were trying to bully him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you bring something, you bring a document that is unconstitutional. That draft was unconstitutional to, to retroactive a constitution, say that when it, it, it is put in place, he cannot serve, he, he cannot contest elections for an or, or, for other uh, district. For, uh, he will be limited. So he can only contest one, 2021. So, so you agree because of that particular problem alone? No. He sympathizes in the assembly voted against. No, no, they are not sympathizers. Some of them are against us until today. They are, they are criticizing us, which we accept in good faith no, as a democratic the government. Who, the lot who voted against it, they certainly asked, are not criticizing the government. Oh, they are not, not criticizing. Not what I'm saying is, we all know, do, do you want to tell me that APRC, you know, what you, you, have, been, you have been hearing what APRC, Hamarin, Arma Baro, and the AP, yeah, this yeah, government. Yeah. No, so, that, what do you no, expect? For no, for no, no, I told you, I admitted that those yeah, people could, could, have, could, the have any, could have their own reason. That one could be coincidental. They, have, they could have their own reason for voting against um, the Constitution. Even though some people have said there was a rap rap Mr. Rap Chan. between them and the NPA. There is none. I can tell you that, that there is none. But then you are right. Those people could have their own reason. Mr. They Chan. have their own reason. Yeah, and even the independent you know, candidate, I'm telling you, the independent candidate and those who represent other parties mm. who voted mm. against mm. it, mm. have no, they have not connected. They have not been talked to. They have their they, they talked Mi to their people. Uh, but Mr. Chan. The electorates. But they're already 
um, already made pronouncements that they are supporting the president. Mr. Cham. That's why they could not cope with their policy. No, no, they, 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 Mr. They, Cham. They, 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 they said publicly that they are now... No, yeah, they government. made it public because they said, considering the fact that the development process and also the... the the, the, the project, development pro project okay. that the president has now, put in place now, has convinced them. So now the current re efforts to reduce to re it. Yeah, that's what I want you to address. What I am telling you is we have no problem from the initial stage. Hmm. We want any document that is put in place. Hmm. Constitution is something, is not something, it's not, not the Quran. Hmm. So you have uh, Give me a chance. Yeah, yeah. This constitution, the constitution is not a Quran. It's and my it, Quran. No, listen, listen. Let, let me tell you. No, no, no. It, 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 let me tell you. No. It is subjected to review all the time. Exactly. Amendment. Yeah. The 1997, uh, 1970 constitution. How many times was it amended? Mm -hmm. The 1997, 1997 constitution was put in place in 1982, something like that. Mm -hmm. How many times? It was amended. Mm -hmm. So what would stop this one? What we are saying is as long as it is designed to represent the interests of the Gambian people. This government is with that. But we cannot take anything less than the something, a document that would definitely not represent the interests of if the If I people. understand you, what is the new arguments of the government? What what do they want changed? What we have, they have mentioned it here. Mr. Oh, Chairman. Oh, oh, the retroactive clause. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. also not only that. Me, I point. pointed out citizenship 1994. Either they have not mentioned that. Mm -hmm. There is nowhere in the world, Mali mm -hmm. Dobar, mm -hmm. where somebody, a co criminally convicted um, person, mm -hmm. in a rule, in, 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 in a court of law, mm -hmm. would be allowed, given a chance to rule the people. So that's a, let, that's a lot of, that's a, of contention. Is for it? me, what I'm, I, I've observed that in the court, through reading it, mm -hmm. let me just tell you now mm -hmm. what I have said. Mm -hmm. You go to, I mean, you go to anywhere mm -hmm. in the United States, if you are convicted even to get a job in an institution, Assuming that because conviction they want to, was, they want you to give a pre this thing, uh, Mr. Chan, learn, the youth this to is learn becoming monotonous. It. But that is the there, Mr. Been, there have been interpretations such as um, how to call it uh, somebody who is having a public office. They said the people that that you are talking about have not been in public office. Yes. So it doesn't affect that. That has that all this is subject to interpretation. So, but you're telling me apart from the president powers and the cabinet powers this is another contentious issue that you that is my opinion in oh. the, what, may I, what i observe yeah. that i think it need to be revisited Mr. because Chan. if we do that mm -hmm. if you don't do that mm -hmm. what is going to happen here is yeah. we don't know what type of society are we building okay. mr Chan. you understand that's the no, reason no. i'm not no. allow me Mari. Okay. i respect every gambian right mm -hmm. to contest Mari. To work in any no, Allah, no, 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 I'm no, 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 no. This document. I don't want to lose my thought. Yes. I want to tell him that he is not a keen follower of wall history. Nelson I Mandela. Am. No, you are not. I am. No, because you have made a I very am. bold, blank statement. You know, this is not. Allow me. This is not a South African no, no. Constitution. Allow me. This is not a South African Allow me. No, allow me. Okay, you mentioned America. Nowhere in the wall. Yeah. You. Mm -hmm. okay. I am referring to your words. Mm -hmm. I am not doing anything. Tell me any American president. No, no. President. Forget about American no, president. No, no. I am coming closer to home okay. based on your submission. Okay. You said nowhere in the world will a known criminal be allowed. When that criminalization of an individual was politically multi motivated, Prison it is not considered to be criminal. It's called a you know, a, crim um, a prisoner of conscience. Yeah. That's why so we allow me first. Court of appeal. Allow no. Forget about we court of appeal. appeal. And, and I is, am telling really you international scary. norms. Yeah. You see, gentlemen, you need to do one thing: have the courage of conviction to say, "I am going to support whoever I want to support." But the Gambia I live in must be a Gambia based on a level playing field, and I will not. Yeah. I will not compromise my conscience. To say that it's wrong here but it's right there number one number two wait, wait. number two number two there is what you call constitutional supremacy but laws are based on morality if this current sitting president has an iota of conscience he will understand our history where we came from and he campaigned on a two-term limit as someone who champions good governance Therefore, if he wants Gambians to negate and forget about 2017 to 2021 because of a faulty constitution we had that we're trying to change. That's what we all of us are well, trying allow to Allow me. No, no. If we are trying to change that, 
we will look at the interests of the people. And when we look at the interests of the people, our moral compass should guide any decision we make. And right now, our moral compass is not guiding the decision that you are championing right now. To tell any Gambian that you can sit for 15 years, gentlemen, Mr. we might as well leave Yaya Jami here. Mr. Uh, yes. Let me, before you take this, I want to ask you simple. This is not what Mr. Nyango or those already who've taken position politically are saying. I am not a political no, position. No, he's not taking position. Oh, we are having a I have a national position. Now, all yes. of us have no, a national no, position. No, nobody has, this feeling, nobody has a partisan there, policy. There's this feeling, and I want to ask you whether, whether, whether this is not the problem. Right. Now, the agenda that the coalition government, or the government coalition team campaign on, and that includes still President Barrow, Hamad Ba, it could have been anybody yes. in the leadership. In the leadership, yes. The whole idea, oh, yes. I think, was to put up a transitional government. Mm -hmm. Forget about these three years, okay. whatever. Okay. A transitional government okay. that will implement all these reforms we're talking about, including mm -hmm. the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Now, is it not the case that the transitional government, whoever is heading it, that Barrow Khalifa or Davo, at the moment found itself uncomfortable with these reforms because it has now is now developing you know an inclination not to be transitional now to go beyond the transitional agenda now if you are now blaming the coalition government for trying to go beyond the transitional agenda fairly you cannot blame Halifa Salah for that you cannot blame lawyer Dabo for that you cannot blame Hamad Ba for that mm -hmm. The only person you are going to blame for not trying to stop at the transition agenda is President Barrow. Mm -hmm. Isn't this not a fair comment? Okay, um, let me let me tell you. Um, the overall transitional goal yes. was betrayed by certain members of the coalition okay. when they refused to complete the election cycle of the coalition. That's where the problem started. That's where, <laughs> let, let me tell you, so that's, that's where the problem started. So if they, all of them stayed united mm -hmm. from the presidents and national assembly and council, mm -hmm. we would have not come into where we are today. Mm -hmm. But fa their failure came when they failed to unite and complete the cycle of the 2016-17 elections. In as a coalition. As a coalition. So therefore, everybody went on your side. You cannot blame Barrow for what happened in the coalition. So that means it would not be a fair criticism on power. So that means the what are you going to, the coalition itself mm -hmm. collapsed okay. and failed the Gambian people totally. All of them okay. failed because of they failed to including President Barrow. I mean, they failed to unite and follow the process. President no, 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 no. You have made a point. What? Let him qualify. Why are they just, why? All of no, no. You need to qualify. No, no. Why? Why no, are they no, all including President Barrow? They qualify it. Now you see them. No, 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 if I say all of the time, this yes. Is, no, qualify would that, it. Would that exclude Barrow? Qual would that exclude well, Dabo? Oh. Would that exclude Hamad Ba? Would that exclude Halif? I say the coalition failure to complete the three circle electoral circles. Okay brought us into this position. So, when, okay. so I don't need to mention so Halifa, Adam Abaro, we are trying to say, you know, so we said a coalition. It would not be fair. Yes. We said a coalition. It could have been Dabo. Yes. It could have, no, well, Dabo wasn't there. He was in prison. It could have been Halifa. Yes. It could have been Lamin Bojan of uh, GDP, of Rikama, who contested. It could have, those five. Any, anybody. It could have been anybody. Just in say fact, anybody in, in the coalition. Fact, in fact, the so, government people, the yeah. majority of the governments who voted, who were agitating for change, mm -hmm. they had this, uh, position that any one of these people is better than better than Jamie. Any one of them. That's the belief. All, fact, of, all of us. In fact, my just him. In fact, just my just a democratic in change, fact, peaceful in, and democratic. In fact, without change. without trying every to, Gambian in fact, without, years. without trying to be biased or so any um, arrogance to uh, Jamie, I still that has been my position. Yes. That any one of these people is better than Jamie, and Absolutely. I still hold that belief. Jamie. Now I still hold that belief that despite all what people are saying about Barrow Barrow. I mean, Barrow cannot be compared to Dabo. Uh, sorry, to, 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 to Jame. Yeah. Even though people are still beginning to have doubts as to whether he's not copying Jame. Never, there are issues. never. Now, never. listen. That's, but, that, that's, but now, that's my friend, Mali. But, but, but listen. Now, me as now, but listen Jame, yeah. but then, however, however, <laughs> somebody I fought for however if we are today seeing things that we don't like of Jame happening, we're not going to blame Hanifa for that. Even though he was in the coalition, we cannot blame Dabo for that because he was in the coalition. We cannot blame Hamad Ba for that because he was in the coalition. The person who came out of that coalition arrangement is still the one we people are going to blame naturally and fairly. Yes, but Mali, 
The reason why I said it failed, we, they failed us, the coalition failed it. We, here, we, are, we are not going to exclude anybody here. It will not be fair. Thank you. It will not be fair. Okay. If they had, if all of them stayed united mm -hmm. and they complete this thing and they were working together, mm -hmm. and, and anybody who refused it, anybody who goes aside mm -hmm. would have been blamed for it. But how can we are going to get a money? As a family, if you branch off, you take you refuse to take the so, directive of our coalition decision. So how can how can how can I be blamed for that? Okay. okay. So how Chama, can I be blamed for Chama, that? Chama, this is what happened Chama, yesterday. Chama, Chama, no, 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 please. We still have to people want to know mm. now. Yes. You mentioned the position of the government in, yes. in this new arrangement. The government yes. wants the the clause that is um, um, uh, I mean affecting Barrow's tenure should be revisited. Powers that have been given to Parliament over the president it, should it be. It doesn't affect his tenure. Uh, Let, let's also correct that. Tenure, no, no. That's what, why I say tenure is borrow. Um, but what we are saying is the retroactive active yeah, of that. Not, it is not. It is not. It is not. Well, well, no, 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 so, so, Cham, let's continue. Cham, let me continue. Yeah, okay, Cham, you see, um, no, no, man, let's okay, Mr. Barrow, just allow me. Could may yep do jelly Um, Yang mentioned courage of conviction. Yes. Decency. Yes. Huh? Um, Politics, for me, it is not personal interest. It's right. about values. Absolutely. It's about the life and death of citizens. Absolutely. It's a noble, sacred um, endeavor Absolutely. that you get in there to serve your people. Not to be served. And not to be served. You see, that is why we had the coalition. And Barrow and Mr. Mbalo here need to really ask themselves, whose interests are they for? All right. No, you are not. Gambian. Okay, okay, okay. okay. all right, fine. Gambian. Okay, Gambian. fine. Gambian. Yeah, fine. Gambian. You see, you see, you see the, the coalition, even though they didn't get to sign the MOU, but they spoke, and they spoke of high values and standards. And Barrow, when he was elected, had uh, re-emphasized those values and standards, that he's a businessman, he's come here to serve three years and go back to his business. Let Barrow be a man of, I mean, decency. Honor. Yeah, I understand. Honor, dignity. What, how, about, no, 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 let me end. how about leaders, no, let coalition let me, let members who let said me, let anybody who, take, who, yes, who, who yes, decide to yes, put I condemn, the five year would be taken I, to court? I condemn. Yeah, I condemn. I condemn. And condemn they went back Hussein and they said Barrow should step down at three Fine. Yeah. I condemn then Hussein Udabo. Then what I did, Sama said, can. I wow. condemn Hussein Udabo. Mm -hmm. yes, Alright? And all the coalition leaders for reneging on that program, that promise they gave us. But of all of them, the person who bears primary responsibility Principal. to protect the integrity, the dignity of that agenda, yes, yes. whether signed or not signed, is the elected yes. president of the republic who was Adam Abaro. Mm. Now, that agenda was not just for three years, yes. but it was for him to not contest again. Exactly. To create. Now, yes. Barrow did not only renege on the three years, mm -hmm. but he went further to renege on the idea of stopping yeah, down after transition. one term yeah. and let there be a level playing field for Everybody. a transformation yeah. to the point that today yeah. they are not even talking about that one term yeah. they are yeah, counting three. Three. Yeah. three three yeah i understand so you see that's and 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 so um all the things but mr money, barrow is money, talking about no no we are not in we no, are not no 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 we are not saying three no, saying one yeah, saying yeah, no, no 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 would, would no the no 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 no, it's a threat to, to national yes, security. Yes, we know. No, 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 Chum, let me just learn. Yeah. You know, right? because uh, he said a lot of things. I may not respond to all of them, but one very scandalous thing he mentioned. I mean, to reflect their lack of decency and you know that national interest is to make reference to somebody jailed not to become a president. That nowhere in the world do you see I that. I said the constitution section. No, 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 yes, if yes, I because, have read the yes, the, the, what no, is no, written there. Yes, that's the what constitution. I have okay, the constitution. But you see, you see, we cannot be ignorant of our history and our experience. Thank you. Um, it, directly, he's referring to Usenu Dabo. I'm not a supporter of Usenu Dabo, and I think he's received my criticisms more than anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. But the point is, under these his, circumstances, his conviction. He's the one who he, fell no, no, his, his conviction. To the yes, there he, are so many convictions. Hold, hold on, his what conviction. Let uh, Dabo be the opponent. That is fine. But the conviction of Dabo. Of Nam Lamin Dabu uh, Diba, yeah. of um, delayed. you know delayed and you know solo chroma and all of those people, it's not conviction that I think Mr. Mbalo here 
or Mr. Barrow should be proud of saying it. Because these were political prisoners standing for the country at that particular moment. And even if the constitution says a convict cannot be president, suddenly no government in your right mind should be thinking of that kind of conviction. Because that kind of conviction is what put Mandela in jail 27 years to yes. become president of South Africa. Let it's what go. put Kwame Nkrumah in jail Let to be go. lifted out of prison to become the prime minister of Ghana. Yes. And yes. the yes. examples across the world are so many. Yes. So for for, for yes. just because yes. of political uh, opposition, I understand, I for, us to, uh, for us to drop our decency that low. to that level, clearly manifest to me once more that Mr. Barrow, and abetted, aided and abetted by people like Mr. Mbalo here, who is a public official violating the Civil Service uh, Act and the Constitution as a public officer that to is, engage in partisan politics. That is, that Therefore, I'm not surprised. And that okay. is really worrying for me. No, I mean, you are a presidential advisor. That is a public service office. You have no business to be a member of NPP to stand on a political platform, attacking political opponents, campaigning for a political party in, in you know, openly. Can I come now? Okay. And that shows the lack of then decency it, of I, this camp. Okay, thank you. Ma, uh, Mr. Val. Yes. When politics can be a game, yeah. it can be indecent, it can be immoral. Politics should be decent but, but and then, moral. But then, I, 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 I mean, to consider the very principles that we fought for uh, to, take, to, to make it now look as upright to use against your opponent just because I want to score a political point. In this case, what he's trying to say. Okay. Let me say you know, that now, whether it's possible, even Halifa Salah and others were taken to court by mm -hmm. Germany. Put in, when, put in prison when he went, illegally. When he right. went to, when he went to, uh, to, 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 to attack uh, him about this witch hunting. Ahmad Ba, yeah. Ahmad Ba, yeah. all of them. All, all of them. them. Atiku Abu Bakar had to come here to, to, to secure their release. They were not, they were not, uh, you know, that now. Yeah, no, they, they were not convicted. Before the court. No, no, listen. No, no, yes. But it doesn't no, matter. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Now, let me just... Jame can take you to court, can can put you from your house to prison. Like that. What about the government came under prison? Yeah. They discontinued the trial. Kangaroo Now, you are telling me that if Halifa and all those people, Hamad and others were convicted. No, listen. If you cannot put the I operative I word. Put assumption. I am, Those are assumptions. I am if, asking you. If I, were con I was detained, but you I was not convicted. Have Mr. Your, Mr. You have your, I was detained here, yeah, you but have I was your not answer. convicted. You have, you have your answer. Yeah. If those people, if those trials had continued yes. until they have been concluded, mm. they've all been convicted. Yeah. Huh? Yes. You know, would, would it be fair? Yeah. Would you say that those convictions would can still be used against them? For hold if, if they want to hold Alexis. Okay. So you see this. See what has been happening on the jammy. What has been happening on the jammy? I just I've been. What, what, what people are trying not 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 the coalition supporters, maybe outsiders. Yes. They would be surprised that the people who have come to clean the system. Yes. Could now use a bad book from that old system. Yes. And use against one another because they want to score political. So that's the argument. Okay. What is your response? Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. I am very happy. This is a healthy oh, argument. Now you are standing. Happy because I'm happy. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, yes. oh, oh, the heat is too much. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> there is no heat here. This is what I expect and this is what I want. This now. is what okay. I have been doing throughout my life. Oh, I know. Okay. I think with all fairness to Gambians, yes. we should tell them what is written in our constitutions. Seumbalo <laughs> point in reading the section of 1990, 1990, um, uh, 2019 constitution mm -hmm. and also the, um, the 1997 constitution yeah. does not qualify it to be implemented. Mm -hmm. I am a single person in the whole nation, mm -hmm. but I think I should be given the right mm -hmm. to tell the Gambians what is in the constitution if it is really. When they were writing this constitution in 1996, Seumbalo was in exile. Mm -hmm. But I do quote it all the time. Mm -hmm. What is there? I do interpret it to people. Likewise, this 19, uh, 2019. Why should I keep quiet when I see things they are written there and fail to tell the Gambians? Anyway, there are exception in this draft constitution that says that if you are a civil servant, you should not do this. You should not invent in business. If you are, if you are, if you, your mother and father is from here, you are born here. You are not. What would stop you? Then I would be a hypocrite. I don't, I don't expect money. 
to yeah, but, fail but, but, to no, interpret. No, 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 what I'm saying is that not in the constitution? Mm. But you have violated that constitution by no, what being what, politically what, partisan. No, what I'm saying, saying is, I'm coming to. Let's, let's what what I'm saying is, I'm, I'm, I'm telling the people what is written in the constitution, which you are violating right now. Do they know it? Do 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 many people know it? There are. Let me tell you, there are many Gambians, even the 1997 constitution was here. Many people, when you ask them about the constitution, what is written there? They will tell you. So, so, no, so your argument they is... Would, no, they will tell you your, that they don't know. Okay, your argument is, okay, Mali. today it could be Usiano now. If we leave it go like that, another criminal can no. go, or somebody... So what I am Charlie. saying, let me tell you, Charlie. allow me to learn, Mali. No, no, allow me, <laughs> Mali. But, but when, know, when shall you learn? It's not, not landing. When shall you learn? No, Mali, no, listen, leave it. Mali. Today is Usain Udab, who fell under that category. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, who knows whether Seumbaro would also fall under that category? Mm -hmm. Who knows mm -hmm. whether Ahmad Ba, mm -hmm. Halifa Sala, or somebody mm -hmm. would fall under that category? Mm -hmm. But we have to expose it. We have to expose the clothes, what are there. Mm -hmm. So people to know okay. if they want it. Okay. If they are in for it. Fine. What will stop them from implementing? I think that's apples and oranges. Okay, you wait, are wait, comparing wait, no, no. two different what, things. What allow, Mr. No, allow me to learn. Yeah, but you are okay, comparing okay, apples and oranges. Ah, go ahead. Yeah, no apple and oranges. Yes, it is. Of course. Go ahead, go ahead. A politically motivated no, conviction is a okay. conviction of conscience. Uh, let me tell Point you. blank, yeah, period, yeah. and simple. No, no, allow him. Yeah. Let me tell you. Do, do, not, do, not, do, do, do not put this thing down to that level. Uh -huh. Something that went on to court. To go. It let went to you. what court? What kind of court? You, you, you what believe. kind of court did let it me, went let to? Let me tell you. You no. want to tell me that all people, everybody, the, the, the judgment that have been passed here from 2000, uh, 1996 up to 2016 should be put. No. 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 See, no. that's why you are comparing rapists, apples and oranges. Rapists. Allow, allow, okay, allow Mr. Mal. Convicted rapists, convicted allow child Mal. molesters, convicted allow someone. Mr. Allow Mr. It, it, it's a different matter. No, no, you allow Mr. Mr. Mal. You people if Nyangjai, I'll give you a simple example Mal. today. No, no, I want no, to allow him. No, no, no. No, no, Mr. Cham. Allow me. If I give you a simple example, Nyangjai today, as a citizen who has the right to express himself gets out on the street and say that this government has failed me and I happen to be jailed. Five years down the line, I want to um, contest an election. I am a prisoner of conscience. The law I have violated was discharging the courage of conviction that many Gambians don't have and I have. So you, Mr. Mbalo, yes. as a, a former champion of human rights, yes. the I, rights of individuals, I you I allow, me, allow me, allow me, allow me, you being a former champion and a defender of the rights of people, Which are you that? should be the first and foremost to say that that is what it's called internationally the prisoner of conscience. And no one should be locked in her inside of his mind. You should be able to express what your mind so, thinks so, so, so long as it's within the confines of, of universal rights. Right. 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 what's your take on that? Okay, what you, I am saying is, yeah. as he stated, I have been a member of the leaders of the human rights body organizations. We went up to the extent of taking presidents to court in, is on record in the New York High Court. So therefore, I will not be part of anybody who wants to violate the law. You, all of you, must have seen me leading protests yes. Yes. in the United many States. Times in the US. Many all times. Those permits you see, I have the permit. It was Seumbalo who will go to the inspector of the police department in New York, in other state, take it, apply and take it, and the Gambians come over, and we demonstrate. But because of my high respect for rule of law in the United States, before, we, before I go into demonstration, I must obtain a permit and I, I will be given police officers who will guard the location. Apples and oranges once again. So New York is not Gambia. No, no, no. <laughs> I will be given, but you compare, you will tell me that. Okay, no, 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 no. You understand? If they tell me, Mr. Mbalo, Gambians who are going to demonstrate, they are giving permission from 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. to 2 a.m., we will I'll make sure that we start at 9, <laughs> we end at 2 o'clock. In, in if days, they ask us, stop at the United Nations building. gate building, don't move elsewhere to the embassies, I make sure that anybody who is participating, that statement is communicated to them. That's why we held a series of demonstrations. It was only one occasion when two of my people were arrested 
that's Bakari Jaju and Falai Bali. I think you people saw it. Yeah. When they were arrested in front of the hotel because they fought with Tangara. Mm. And uh, what happened? We got the right. Because when they arrested back, police arrested Bakari Jaju and they called me immediately as and Martin and others. I was at the UN. I rose. I, dr I drove to the location at the hotel. Before they moved them, I called the police commissioner and told him that I'm taking them to court. Because what happened, the information I, that has been given to me, I have the permit from 9 to 2 o'clock. Why should Tangara come to that location? But the pro anecdote pro is not relevant. No, no, of course. Right? It's not relevant. Course, so no, no, no. We are losing please. sight of we are, what we are, we are saying. We are no, no. We are, Back to the issue that, at hand, the Gambian issue. I what happened in the court yeah. is because of violation of the law. Which no. court and what the kangaroo court that was. And okay. for you to sit Chow. here and defend yeah. that court, now, listen, we are gentlemen. Now, 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 let's run up this debate now. What I want to... I Chow. actually want, and the viewers want to know, yeah. what will be the position or the outcome if we can let us speculate here what of the current quickly. process yeah. current efforts to revisit the constitution we now i ask you let me bring you yeah, answer that yes. briefly that i said briefly we are in for it you are in we for it definitely we but want, we want those those contentious things that do you consider contentious certain to things to be we, we want them to, to look to champion whoever the panel ah. whoever is going to revisit, revisit that yeah who am going to look at that yeah. because i am in for 50 50 percent of yeah. elections yeah. i don't yes. i don't believe in simple majority okay that's right. i said it mm -hmm. okay. i don't believe that all right now since okay since now now what do you make of uh, i mean position that okay let those who voted against it vote for it to go into the second reading and, and then, then you take it from there what do you think of that well i cannot you see, you see national uh, national assembly members are in a different section Okay. Say so Umbalo have no power to tell them where what to vote. So what in the event that? But what I am mine, my opinion here yeah. is we want a constitution, a new a third republic. So we have not entered the third okay. republic so unless and until we have this constitution, so a new of, constitution. Thank you. It, at the end of it, the political national assembly members would would, would have to have an a say. Yeah. Now the bad precedent that many people said is that poli the, the parliamentarians have taken a partisan line. Yes. Now, it will be very difficult now to have any bill passed which requires two-thirds majority. Yeah. Now, whatever changes are made, if, if it goes back to the assembly, and you know, the majority of the politicians who voted for it, voted now against this one, it will have. Yeah, but Mr. Chow, what, what do you why do you think the government is taking this step to make so? Uh, is to get my compromise. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not in the Ministry of Justice. Uh, you mean I'm not part of this. Before it goes to I'm not part of this. Yeah. To be frank with you, yeah. I have no hand, I have no say. I'm only speaking as a Gambian yeah. how I feel. But no. in the setting of this yeah, not. the okay. Ministry of Justice, mm -hmm. this panel mm -hmm. or the constitution, when they were appointed, mm -hmm. say Umbaro was not part of it. Say Umbaro yes. don't know. But what I can say is mm -hmm. we need a new constitution Compromise. for the Republic of the yeah. Gambia. Yeah, the However, we can answer. work together as a nation mm -hmm. to make sure that things I mean we have a new constitution. That will represent the people. Mm -hmm. Say Umbalo is in for it, and this government is in for it. Very quickly. And uh, the president did this. What he's doing now, bringing um, the Nigerian former president, yeah. Jonathan Goodman, I think it's a good idea. He's yeah. not a dictator. He would have just left it the opposition. But now, yeah. with Jonathan Goodman coming, talking to APRC members, talking to a, um, PPP, uh, PPP members, talking to GDC. Well, the irony, there's a gridlock. Might be, the irony is that <laughs> might be, now, the irony might be they will come to term and they look at what, now, the what irony, is the problem there, what are the obstacles, the irony, and they correct it. The irony is that in real time, the U.S. Embassy and the German, as well as some other, EU. the British, call on the parliamentarians in real time, for the whole country for that matter, mm -hmm. not to allow the thing to come to this stage. That was considered as foreign interference. What about Jonathan's coming? Is that not foreign interference? You don't consider G that? Jonathan, Jonathan is, engaged, is engaging all parties. Yeah, but it's called by the president. It's not a statement that do this. He's not telling, telling government or opposition to do this. He's calling for a dialogue. Yeah, but he's very coming. Unlike somebody who will dictate you in your own house, tell you oh, what No, 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 Mr. Mbalo. Because if you tell me, somebody came and tell me, don't, don't vote for it, yeah. I don't think any government Mr. Mbalo, the national you're being conveniently the apologetic here because there was a time you were a strange bad fellow with those very people you're fighting against today. Who, who? These the embassies that used to help you yeah. 
position and champion your cause against France, Yemen. Look, France, you cannot have no, your cake and well, eat it. The, the no. force of I, 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 I said it here. Yes, These embassies that I, I was no, talking no. with, we make sure we do things according to the rule of law. We have never asked the any embassy. It doesn't suit you anymore, but it suits the Gambian people. I have never used. I have never used. I think he has, I think he has, embassy. I think he has forgotten that even one day is a long time in politics. <laughs> <laughs> at, at, at Tangara, your people were arrested for fighting Tangara. You are whining and dining with Tangara. I, 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 because the plan, Aranse Legi, you know, Aranse would Gambia, the, uh, the new dispensation. Right, now, no, allow me, Mr. Cham, I have to finish this. No, that was the new, incident. no, allow me, incident. this new and dispensation. No, no, allow, but let me finish, let me finish. This new dispensation. <laughs> They have put Gambia secondary and they have put no, personal interest no, no, no. That, first. Gambia okay. third. Everybody. And all the parties. No, no, all the parties. No, no, no. Okay. Hello. Hello. Bar Baro. Baro has Baro. come. Now listen, man. Yes. The question is, what do you expect uh, these new efforts at bringing the constitution? What results do you think it will come out? Very quickly. We are ending. This. No, no, One no, no I, I don't expect anything good to come out of it. I think we are going for a deadlock simply because there's no sincerity from Barrow um, in this process. And the evidence of that is that they prepared uh, what they call issues and options document. As civil society, we had requested for this document that we see what issues and what options to address those issues are there that they are going to engage with the political parties, the other stakeholders, and they have refused. Even the media, they have refused to give the media. They have refused to give to the civil society. And yet you are calling for a dialogue that should be based on honesty and openness and sincerity, it doesn't exist. So you don't and think they are relatively fruitful? No, no, it is not yet no. there. It is not yet no. to that un unless, that unless, unless, once again, our political actors decide to sell the Gambia, then they will make progress. But no. any political actor who wants to stand by the Gambia, who wants to defend the integrity of the Gambia, the interests of Gambian people should reject what Mr. Barrow is doing, rather demand him that final draft constitution as it is, to reintroduce it back to the National Assembly in the first session of the National Assembly or through some certificate of urgency um, to no, convene an emergency. Yeah, all right? No, no, Be because in any case, um, I don't expect any Gambian to compromise uh, democratic and republican values and standards in our constitution. And core in that is that from 2017 henceforth, no Gambian should be allowed to spend more than 10 years as president of the republic of the gambia thank you but what do you think will there be any but baro said it baro, was what, baro what wants to spend 15 expect, years what do you expect okay, from, 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 baro, listen, and yourself? Mr. Baro. No, no, no. what yeah, i expect yeah, what do you expect that this charade called international ideas slash the executive is dead on arrival for the simple fact allow me for the simple fact all of yaine doma rey be pare de nga ñew suma dej di ma joyal di ma jale it's not genuine is not sincere and if you guys are sincere strike that self-perpetuating thing and gambians will have a good compromise and consensus and compromise are the foundations of constitution building very well thank you very much Nyang Jai, economist and commentator on gambian affairs mari jabate human rights activist and uh, commentator on gambian affairs uh Sehumbalo, presidential yes. advisor and also a sympathizer of the national People's Party of President Barrow. I want to thank him very well because you Definitely. see why I said is, is, is I should thank him. Um, we have a problem in us in the media, and that is we do not have the NPP or the government do not have. I will say this loudly, even though they said they have government spokesman, <laughs> they have uh, information minister <coughs> or whatever. They don't have when they have director of press. They don't have somebody who will be readily available and willing to take part, to tackle issues and critics or criticisms when we need them at every given time. That is why, for example, if the Gambia Action Party releases a press release and send it to our media houses, we will be bound to carry it. If you suppress it, they will accuse of suppressing their views. If the CA the same. PPP, the same. UDP, the same. All the new parties. Whenever they release press release, they will, you know that one or second line will hit the government. And there is nobody available to tackle and dispel those notions or those views. 
So, and the journalists are bound to carry their views. So if there's nobody from the other side, the government side, always ready and available, there will be an imbalance. And they will blame the journalists for that. When actually the vacuum is created by the government. So I'm advising and I'm thanking you very well um, for, and if you can, if you can have time and be available at, you know, as many media outlets as possible to discuss and highlight, uh, I mean, bring the government's narrative, you know, so that you will not have yourself surrounded and cornered by opposition views and then you blame journalists for giving those people voice and not you, louder than yours. Mr. So Chan, the so I, I want to thank him I, I quite agree with you, and I will tell you one thing. I don't agree with his views, but I respect them. Exactly. You know why? He has no, no. He has the courage of conviction to come out. Exactly. There are a lot of people with the president exactly. today. Exactly. It serves them, but it doesn't serve you their conviction. Paid. That's why they're not yeah. coming. But thank you for believing in something well that most of us don't believe, you know, but we respect. They are it. well paid, but they wouldn't. They wouldn't like to come into the heat because they, 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 they lack the balls, they will say like the a, Americans will they say. Will say I'm not a you know one thing I like about Hamad, but despite people's misgivings about him, he said, if you are in politics, you have to be a politician. Thank you. I respect him for that. <laughs> so it has to be, I mean, if you believe in a political doctrine, you must be able to come and defend that. You but cannot leave President Barrow at the hands of all these critics, and they are hitting him. There's nobody defending because them. Because they call Dunde, Dunde, Chilling. Exactly. They are living off of it, but they exactly. don't believe in don't it. Believe. And I hope and wish that the president exactly. understands exactly. that there are people close to his circles. Absolutely. They see it as a means to an a, end, a but not a right. way to further his exactly. agenda. And thank you, Mr. Mbalo. Thank you, Mr. No Mbalo. love lost because of Gambia, yeah. but keep on but doing what you do. Tremendous job. Thank you very much, profoundly. Thank you very much, Mr. Cham, and I thank my colleagues. Yeah. Let them, I mean, this is our country. Yeah. Yes. We also, we all know what we went through. Exactly. Me, I was exiled. E everybody. I was kicked out of this, I contested e e election. I era. was arrested on exactly. election. Exactly. My supporters, exactly. I suffered. Exactly. I was kicked out, I ran away. Exactly. Some of my people locked. Yeah. Yeah. I went to New York, I formed this, all these you, organizations you we suffer, are in Gambia. You suffered a lot. You I was suffer. in exile. My mom was sick here. I wanted to come. You I suffer, cannot enter you here. You suffered a lot. One time I had, I had to come to Senegal, yeah. Belingara, yeah. sent for my mom just you, to see her. You suffered a lot. You suffered you, I suffered a lot. Absolutely. Some of my mom died, I cannot enter. Yeah. My dad died, I yeah. cannot enter here. Yeah. Why should I do also be selfish to treat anybody like that? No, it cannot be. This is our country. Absolutely. Being him, anybody yeah. who is I mean, fact, a critic to the government, in, in, let them not see us as enemies. We are not enemies. No we all in want fact, a better in Gambia. Fact, in fact, we all want a better Gambia. If you, if you consider what has happened here in the 20, last 22 years, the restrictions and repression that was here, our very discontent with our government today is a measure of our progress. Oh. Yes. And that's about it. Until and it's we, all of us. We we all, until because we, of money, money <laughs> effort, Yes, effort, my effort, somebody effort. It's a effort. collective they, endeavor. They so let's keep it up. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you. Wow, we will come back next week. Oh, wow. rather we cannot because we have to have a new year <laughs> holiday. But the week after, <laughs> we will come back. Thank, Thank you, you very so much, gentlemen. Thank you. This Thank was you. good. Good. Thank you. But you know, this is what we want.
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring Number one quality and affordable stop shop for all your needs. Get your evening dresses, suit and ties, office wears for both ladies and gentlemen, beach wears, sport wears, pure leather shoes for men, quality belts, bags, heels for all beautiful ladies, original perfumes, accessories, and a lot more. at Kololi New Road opposite Gaddafi Mosque at the Aqua Preacher Station or call us on 295-3411 or 764-2486. Miss B Designer Outlet. Shop right, look good.